right, what up, what up? What's popping? What's going on? Make sure that all this shit is looking how it's supposed to look. All right, I think everything's good. So what's good, people? Uh, before I get into anything, before I get into anything, <clears throat> remember that the Bad Boy membership sale is still on from now until the end of May, okay? So you guys, when you join the Bad Boy membership for this sale, you're going to get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, audiobook, for free. You're also going to get the Bad Boy book for free, and you're also going to get 60 Second Game book for free. So you're getting all three of those products for free if you join the Bad Boy membership from now up until May 31st. Okay, so remember, May 31st is the last day. All right, so don't hit me up, you know, June 1st or June 2nd talking about, yo, is this the sale still on? It's not still on. Okay, it's only on up until May 31st. That's the last day. So make sure you guys, you know, get up on the, the Bad Boy membership. Also, make sure you guys get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. Hard copy, ebook, audiobook, get all that. And remember, you get the audiobook for free if you join the Bad Boy membership. But make sure you guys get this book. All right. So what's popping, people, in the chat? What's good? It is hot as fuck today, bro. This shit is crazy. Shit is crazy. Who we got in here? Honest Introspection. James, Rashawn, Jermaine Jones, Spency, Dylon, David, Whiskey to Don, Eustonevo, Nez was good, the real Captain Marvel was popping, <laughs> Lorenzo, what up, what up, John Harris, Truth Over Facts was good, bro, Luis was popping, so, I feel like I'm going to be sweating this whole fucking time, anyway, so today I wanted to talk about some, you know, some, some advanced game. You feel what I'm saying? Some some deeper shit, you know. So I want to get into that before I start taking calls and all that stuff, right? So today I'm going to be talking about how do you become the guy that women will do anything for? So what I mean is this, because a lot of guys, they hit me up, they're like, yo, how do you get these girls to be attached to you? How do you get these girls to be obsessed? Even some dudes say, you know, how do you get women to give you money? You feel what I'm saying? All this, All of this shit. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this stuff, okay? But, you got to understand, this is, this is some advanced shit, and, and this, this will only work and benefit you if you actually do what I'm saying, okay? So, this is stuff that I've been doing for years. This is stuff that I teach my clients and everything. Um, and also, remember, guys, if you, if you ever want to do a one-on-one -on -one session with me, go to MrLocario.com. Click on the 30-minute game session and book your session, okay, so we can get into it, all right? So, now, you know, guys always ask me, they're like, yo, you know, how do you get, you know, more women? How do you get more chicks to want to fuck with you? How do you get, you know, a team of chicks that want to just, you know, be about what, you be, what you're about? You know, how do you get chicks to, you know, cooperate and, you know, want to do shit for you and all this other stuff, right? And so, this is the thing. This is the thing, and this is how you get chicks to basically want to really, really fuck with you to the point where they're just about you. They want to, you know, you know, be be with you and do all that other crazy shit, right? The first thing is that she has to see you as extremely valuable. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. She has to see you as extremely valuable, right? So now, how do you get women to see you as extremely valuable, right? <laughs> Lorenzi said, let me get this out the way. It's, it's all about looks, money, and status. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's all about looks, money, and status, people. But no, this is how you get women to see you as valuable, right? And I'm going to break this down. First, you actually have to see yourself as valuable. That's the first thing. So... A woman is going to see you as valuable if you see yourself first as valuable, right? Now, this is why I always go in on talking about confidence. Um, you said, how do you become valuable? I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys in a second. This is why I always go in on confidence and all this other shit, right? Now, the thing you have to understand is this. First of all, you are already valuable, right? So you got you to understand that. You are already valuable. You just have to recognize that, right? But what's going to help you... 
um, you know, have these women see you as valuable is based off of how you interact with women in the game. So I'm going to break this down, right? So you have to see yourself as valuable, right? Now, what happens is this. The way that you, and this, this is probably going to answer a lot of your questions that make you wonder why you're having trouble in a game. How come shit ain't going the way I want it to go? You know, this and that, right? Now, this is the thing. When you are interacting with women, right? You have to have a standard for yourself, a standard set for how you, you know, go about shit in this game, right? So basically what happens is is that you're going to see you you you're going to see value in yourself and because you see value in yourself, you are going to move in the game in a different way. So let me let me give you guys an example. Um let's say you go over like let's say you go over your grandma's house, right? And your grandma has like those 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 plates of china, those fine china plates that's like, you know, valuable and expensive. And they put those plates, she has those plates in the little in the little closet or not closet, but like the, you know, in that cupboard and you can't touch it. It's hung up on there and it's clean and and it's like, you know, it's in a, a space to where you're not going to put any bullshit on this or you're not going to bring any bullshit to this, this area because this shit right here is valuable. So because this is valuable, you're going to treat it a certain way. She's going to put it up in this nice case. She's going to have it in there. It's, it's going to be, you know, nice and clean and all that other shit, right? Because she sees that piece of, you know, uh, merchandise as valuable right? So the same thing applies when you are dealing with women in the game. If you see yourself as valuable, you're not going to fuck with certain things and you're only going to fuck with other things. You understand? So again, when you see yourself as valuable, you're not going to fuck with other, with certain things. And then there's certain things you're going to fuck with. So basically what I'm saying is this, when you see yourself as valuable, right, you're going to basically, you're going to basically put yourself in situations that reflect the value you see in yourself. I'm going to say that again. You're going to put yourself in situations that reflect the value you see in yourself. And also on the flip side, you're going to repel situations that are that don't correlate with your value. So for example, let's say for example, you are dealing with a chick and you're supposed to go on a date with a chick, right? And let's say she flakes. Because you see yourself as valuable, you say to yourself, well, because this chick flaked, I'm gonna charge it to the game. Because I'm up here, I'm this valuable, and if she is going to be this way, she's going to act this way, I ain't fucking with her. I'm only fucking with chicks who's cooperating, who's going to show up on a date, right? So anytime a chick flakes, you have to charge it to the game because that goes against the value you see in yourself. See, now, if you if you don't see yourself as valuable, you'll be the type of guy that'll keep chasing a girl who's flaking on you. You see what I'm saying? So that's one thing. So now let's say for a, another example... You see chicks that you know are like whack. You're like, you know, you're not really attracted to them. You know, they got a bad attitude, whatever. Right? Because you're valuable and because you see yourself as valuable, you're not going to deal with those women. You see what I'm saying? You're not going to deal with those chicks. So, I'm sweating like a motherfucker. I shit is hot as hell. So, because you, you see yourself as valuable, you're like, I want a better quality chick. So what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to not fuck with those girls who are whack and you're going to fuck with the chicks who are on point, who you feel are on point, right? So all you're doing while you're doing this is that the value you see in yourself is being reflected through the outside world. You understand through what you're with through what you're receiving, through what you're um, you know, involving yourself with. 
So basically what this means is that if you see yourself as valuable, you're going to only deal with chicks and only deal in situations that reflect your value. So now what's going to happen is, is that because you're, you're, you're that valuable dude and you see yourself as valuable, other women are going to see you as valuable. You see what I'm saying? Because you are um, acting in alignment with your value. You understand? So this is the thing. And this is, this is what I want to make a point of. The reason why a lot of you guys are having trouble in the game when it comes, when it comes to women is because... First, you don't see yourself as valuable. And two, you are dealing with chicks and dealing with, you know, situations that reflect how, you know, you, you do not see yourself as valuable. So, for example, you might be the type of guy who's going to uh, deal with a girl who's going to flake. You might be the type of guy who's going to deal with a chick that you're not really that attracted to. You are the type of guy who's going to, um, you know have a chick just basically shit on you. You see what I'm saying? And you're still going to deal with her. You see what I mean? So the thing is this, is that you have to look at yourself as the type of guy who's only going to deal with certain type of situations. So what happens is, is that now that you are the type of guy that's only going to deal with certain situations, high quality situations, when you're interacting with women, they're going to see you as that high quality guy. You see what I'm saying? They're going to see you as that dude. Right? But what happens is, is that if you are the type of guy that keeps indulging in the bullshit, you keep indulging in the nonsense, right? Then what happens is women don't see you as that high quality dude. So for example, if you're the type of guy who deals with chicks who are going to keep flaking, when you deal with other women, they can get they they get the vibe that you're the type of guy who puts up with bullshit like flaking. So therefore, you're not a high value guy. If you're the type of guy who doesn't put up with flaking, right? Then you become the guy who doesn't do that. So you're a higher quality dude. So when women interact with you and they see you, they see you as that high quality guy. You see what I'm saying? So what you're doing is is that your actions are building yourself up to be that high quality guy. You see what I'm saying? So, this is the thing. What you're doing is, is that you are turning yourself into that high quality guy based off of your actions. So your actions are, you're the guy who's like, well, if a chick flakes, I'm charging into the game. That increases your quality. That, that builds you up. You're the type of guy who's like, look, I'm, I'm not fucking with no girls who have an attitude. That increases your value. That builds you up. You understand what I'm saying? So now that you're being built up, what happens is that when a woman sees you and she interacts with you, she's like, oh shit, this guy is rare. You understand what I'm saying? They're like, this guy is a rare dude. God damn, it's fucking hot as shit in here. Shit. Although, give me a second, guys. I gotta get a fucking uh, rag or something. This shit is crazy. Give me one second. Shit. Ugh. All right, shit, it is hot as fuck. I didn't even realize it was going to be this hot. I got the windows open and everything. I should have put on the goddamn fan and shit. Man. But anyway, but this, is, this is what I want, want you guys to understand, right? And <laughs> you said my neck sweating like a fat man. Exactly, I know, right? Shit is hot as fuck in here. Um, so this is the thing. What you got to understand is this, is that the reason why women don't see you as that high value guy is because you don't see yourself as that high value guy and your actions are dictating that you are not that high value guy you understand see what you accept is a reflection of how you see yourself you understand what you accept is a reflection of how you see yourself so what happens is the women are going to do things for you and want to fuck with you because they see you as that high value guy and now you become rare. You understand? You become rare. 
So now that you become rare, what happens is, is that she wants to keep you around. She wants to uh, keep fucking with you because you're different than most of these other guys. You understand? So this is what happens. You become that rare dude. And then what happens is that she wants to, she wants to be in your life. She wants to uh, be with you. And then therefore what happens is, is that because she sees that you're valuable, right? She's willing to do what she needs to do to keep you. You understand? So I'll give you an example. Let's say you're, you're you know, you have a, a, a guy who is, a, um, he's a, a, a recording artist, an independent recording artist, right? Now, let's say he's, he's making like a million dollars a year on his own, right? Now, he's been making a million dollars on his own, so now he's become valuable, right? So now the record companies come around, and they're trying to sign him and do all this other shit, right? So now one record company comes around and says, hey, we can we can we want to sign you, but and we'll we'll give you we'll give you half a million dollars a year. He's gonna look at that and be like, fuck no, I ain't fucking with no half a million dollars a year. I'm making a, a million dollars a year while I'm fucking with half a million. So he's like, I'm not fucking with that because I'm higher value than that. You see what I'm saying? So now another company comes around and says, Yo, you know, we'll give you a million dollars a year. And the dude is like, what the fuck I need you for? Like, I'm already making a million dollars a year. I don't I don't need you, right? So now the first company is like, I'm going to give you half a million. The second company is like, I'm going to give you a million. Now, both those companies are like, shit, we want this guy because he already got a big ass fan base. He can make us a whole lot of money. So now what's going to happen is, is that those two companies are going to try to do what they can do to get him to sign. So they're like, they're both going to come back to him and be like, all right, I'll give you two million, I'll give you three million. So now they're going to have a bidding war for this fucking guy. So they're 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 giving him more. They're doing whatever they can to get him. You understand? But the reason why they're doing whatever they can to get him is because he's high value. He's at a higher value, but he's created himself to be that high value, which is getting the companies to act that way towards him. You understand? So the same thing happens for, for, for women. The reason why a lot of you guys don't have shit popping with women is because you have not created yourself to be that high value guy. You understand? You keep going out here fucking with these goofy ass chicks. You keep fucking with chicks who flake on you. You keep fucking with chicks who disrespect you. You keep trying to make shit happen with this chick that's not trying. You understand? So you're not creating yourself as that high value guy. You create yourself as that high value guy when you see yourself as valuable, and then once you see yourself as that valuable guy, you're going to act in different ways. Just like I said with the example with your grandma with the with the china in the in the closet or whatever, in that in the vase or whatever. I mean in the case or whatever. She treats it a certain way because she sees it as value. You see what I'm saying? So you know, you guys gotta understand that shit, man. You guys gotta understand that shit. Man. But yeah, that's what, that's what I just want you guys to understand that, man. And, and see, what's going to happen is, is that women will start to do more shit for you and because they want to keep you around. Because it's hard for women to find guys that they see as valuable like that. You understand? This is why you'll have chicks who will give dudes money, let the dude fucking ride her car and shit, fucking pay for everything, you know, you understand what I'm saying? Critical Mike, what are you talking about? Critical Mike, what are you talking about? You said money is a big part of it, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Man. All right, let me give you guys a call-in number. Yes, you can call in, Mike. What's your, Mike, what's your... What's your uh what's the first three numbers of your of your phone number so I know it's you? I'm gonna put in the call in number 646-481-3901. I want critical mic to call up. I want critical mic to call up. 
646-481-3901. Critical Mike, call up, bro. Stop, stop fucking around. You know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga. Call the number 646-481-3901. Call up. Critical Mike, you ain't calling up. Call up, bro. Stop being, stop, stop, stop fucking around. Hold on, hold on. Yo, what's poppin'? Who's this? Yo, who this? What up, bro? This Lucario. Yeah, this is me. Who's this? What up, bro? This uh, Tommy, man. What's going on? Chillin'. What's going on with you? Shit, uh, I just got a question for you, bro. Mm hmm. Hello? Yeah, yeah. You good? Go ahead. All right, so I just uh, met this chick about an hour ago, man. Um, she was going into a place. I asked her, you know what I'm saying? After she got get out, do she want to ride? You know what I'm saying? So I can swoop down on her and put my move on her. Mm -hmm. So I'm about to go pick her up in a minute. You feel me? What, what, what's the best advice you feel me? So uh, just to get her on me real quick, you know what I'm saying? And get her feeling me and shit real quick. So wait, wait, hold on. What what happened? You said you met a girl somewhere and then, and then what? Wait, say the whole thing over. I'm sorry. I'm like... Cause All right, so she, about, she at the dentist right now. When wait. she get out, you feel me? I'm about, to, I'm about to give her a ride, you feel me? So I'm just trying to put my move on her. Oh, so man. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. So you said, wait. So you said you, you just met a girl who was going into the dentist. Yeah, yeah. I seen her outside. I didn't know she was going into the dentist. Okay, and so... Wait, and so she, <laughs> and so she's in the dentist now, and you said you're gonna wait for her so you could take her. On, on. Nah, I'm at my house right now. I gave her my number. You know what I'm saying? She texted me, and she, I'm about to go pick her up. She about to be done. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take her home or whatever, wherever you know, or take her. From okay, so so you said you want you want come pick her up after the dentist, and y'all y'all gonna y'all gonna kick it, y'all gonna hang out. Right, right, right. Okay, so look. So look, just if you when when you get at when you go when you go and get at her, you understand what I'm saying? But this is this is what you gotta, this is what you 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 know you want to do. You have to see. This is what I would have done at first because now because this is the thing she could be using you for a ride. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. So, <laughs> but but what I would say to her, what I would say, what I would say to you is I would say I would text her and be like, yo, this is what I want to do when I come see you. Now, if she if she's if she's not down for that, then don't fucking go and see her. You understand what I'm saying? So be like, listen, I want to I want to pick you up, I want to bring you back to my place, and I want to hook up. You understand what I'm saying? Or whatever the fuck you're trying to do, you might want to just take her for a drink. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, tell her that's what you want to do. And then if she's cool with that, then you could go and get her. If not, then don't get her. All right. Should I wait wait till she call me to come pick her up, or just text? Her? No, I, I would say text her now. And be like, this is what I want to do when we when I when I come get you. Is you know what I'm saying? And then when she responds and is like, all right, that's cool, then you come and get her. If she if she if she don't respond to that, she's like, Oh, I don't want to do that, charge her. You feel what I'm saying? That's it. Damn, you know, I, I feel you on that, but I want I want to get in person to, so she can really feel me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm yeah. I'm I got better game in person, you know what I'm saying? Because a bitch can see what I look like. No, but this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying though, what I'm saying though, is if she's feeling you. She's going to right. comply if she's if she's on some wishy washy. I don't really know. You understand what I'm saying? Because you don't want to go all the way um, out there. I had like like a minute to talk to her. She was running into the dentist right quick. I pulled up on her. And it don't even her. matter. This is this is what I'm saying. This is this is why this is what I'm saying. This is why you you have to test these chicks to see how into you how into you they are. You feel what I'm saying? Because right. they they saying in the chat room that you scared to lose her. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Just... Damn, hey, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so so that's what I'm saying. I mean, see, I'm just trying to bag her, man, because I know I can get her, you know. I but this is what I'm saying though. This is what I'm saying. If she's feeling you, she's going to comply. If she's not, she's yeah. not. It's that simple. You feel what I'm saying? But what I'm saying I don't is I feel like I just met her. You know how girls be that like, I don't know if we get her to do a car. Bruh, you know how many uh, my nigga, you know how many chicks I just met and I and I fucked them within knowing them for like 15, 20 minutes, half an hour? You know what I'm saying? So the just meeting ain't uh, nothing. You understand what I'm saying? What you're trying to see, because yeah. this, this is what you got to understand. Every time you meet a girl, you have to figure out why she's fucking with you. You understand? So a girl could be fucking with you because she wants to fuck you, or a girl could be fucking with you because she want to fuck with you. You feel what I'm saying? 
And so you got to figure out which one it is. So this is what I'm telling you. Go straight in. That's it. Because if, if she's on some other shit, then it's like, yo, I'm out. All right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to take your advice, bro. All right, bro. Keep, keep me posted, man. All right, man. All right, man. Be safe. All right. Who else was supposed to call in? Somebody else was supposed to call in. Um, I think it was Critical. Critical something. Critical Mike. You ain't calling in. You, you playing games. All right. Let me see who else is this. What the fuck? Yo, what's popping? What's going on, Mr. Cario? Uh, this is Wills out of Detroit. What's going on, bro? Uh, man, you know what? I want, I want some quick advice real quick. Mm. Uh, I, didn't, uh, I got about three or four of my rotation that I've con been consistently fucking mm -hmm. and two more that I've been working on. Right. And I've had uh, surgery on my arm. Mm. So, you know, everybody knew that. They mm. even know my little situation and, you know, stay on my mind and different shit like that. Mm. The question I have for you is, all five of them were like, well, let me know if there's anything you need and stuff like that. Mm. And so I'm trying to think, like, well, what the fuck should I ask for? Because I got a lot of shit that I <laughs> don't really need much. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that? So you're saying that? So you're saying that these girls asking you? They saying that these girls? These, these girls are asking you, what do you need? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because I have, just because I don't have the surgery. Yeah. Tell them. Tell them, bro. Tell them to bring you something. Just for the sake of doing it. Yes, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. When a woman, when a woman does something, when a woman does things for you, um, uh, what happens is she connects to, you, like she uh, she gets more attached to you. She internalizes it. Right, you understand? That's that's what happens. Yeah. You understand? Like she's like it's, this is why. Like, see, for a woman, for women, they have. Uh, uh, this thing where, so for example, just like when a girl, when a woman has a baby, and she does a lot of things for her baby and her child and whatever, that connects her more to the to the child. You understand what I'm saying? When a woman does things for you, um, let her do it. You understand what I'm saying? If she say, "Hey, can I?" Yes, yes, you can. Come, come, bring that to me. Let's make it happen. You understand? So, cause, cause, cause I know, I know, cause I, I was the same way before, where a chick will say something to me and she'd be like, "Hey, can I?" I'd be like, "No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You ain't got. You know what I'm saying?" But no, let her fucking do it. You see what I mean? Let her do it. Yeah, it, like it's some of them seem like they have kind of put out there. They're willing to go out the way. Mm -hmm. Hey, I can't do it today, but give me before after one o'clock Friday, I can do it. Oh yeah, yeah, and let them, yeah, let them do I that. I can't think of shit that I wanted. Don't even think of like I know I need some. Some damn laundry detergent. Mm -hmm. I know I need that. Right, right, exactly. Hell yeah, tell them to bring you some laundry detergent or something. Just, just make sure you get them to do some shit. You feel me? Yeah, I feel like it, man, because I've been pulling my head about that. That's what's up, bro, man. I appreciate the call, bro. I'm holla. No problem. All right, peace. All right. So we still waiting for uh, who else was trying to call in? Oh shit, we got locker room in a building. Man. But yeah, it's always it's always good if a chick trying to do some shit for you, so let them do it. Let them do it. Six four six four eight one three nine zero one is the number. I'm still waiting for um for critical to call in. Critical ain't trying to call in. I think my, was Mike in here. I think Mike was trying to call up. I I, I think I saw his number. But um. But yeah, that's the thing, man. If a chick, if a chick's trying to do some shit, let her do that shit, man. Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's up, man? I'm a huge fan. Uh, I can't believe I got it. I got through. That's what's up. What's, what's your name? Uh, you can just call me Jay. Jay, I was popping with you, man. All right, so I got a situation with this uh, girl from class, but I'm not really sure what to make make of it. Mm. All right, so, um, hold on, just a second. Oh, you got to get it together, bro. <laughs> Yo, you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. All Sorry right, about ahead. that. All right, so, uh, okay, so I went to school with this chick, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know, it's, it's like a weird vibe. She, like, she calls me, no, she, yeah, she calls me weekly and texts me weekly, but, I feel like she doesn't want to do something, so like, um, I don't know. I feel like I like I don't know if she's like up for like she wants money or if she just wants to hang out something mm. like that. No, wait, wait, what? What? You said it's a girl from your school? 
Yeah, from one of my classes. Okay, well, how old are you? Uh, twenty six. Okay, and so so you so you get, she has your number, and how did she? Call, she, she texts me like every three days, but it's never for like to hang out. It's more like um, kind of school related. Okay, and so what are you trying to do with this chick? What you want to do? Well, like I, like I don't know, like it, 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 I I I kind of feel like she's into me, but then when I ask her, she always says she's busy. So you said when you I'm, like I get confused. So you you say you ask her out, and she says she's busy. Yeah, something like that. Okay, yeah. So she's not she's not into you, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. that's really all it oh, is. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> I really because well, that's what I was going to ask you at first. Because I thought I thought she was just texting you. And and y'all were just talking about nothing, but you ain't never said you ain't never tried to do nothing. But if you tried to like get her out to do some shit, and she's like, oh, "I'm busy," but nah, she she ain't really she ain't really feeling you, bro. But, but the weird thing is, she she talks about like she wants to find a guy, and then she she's she's a little older. She said mm-hmm. like, uh, "I want to freeze my eggs because I want to find the right guy." Mm-hmm. So like, I don't know, is that is she trying to say something, or I'm not really sure what's going on? Nah, she see this. First of all, first of all, and that's another thing. When it, what, generally when a woman talks about other dudes. To, to you, that means she's not feeling you. You understand what I'm saying? A girl who's uh-huh. feeling you won't mention about wanting to get with other dudes. You see what I'm saying? Generally. So so that's, yeah, a, that's okay. one thing. Then two, she says she's busy. That's that's number two. So it's like, that's already a, 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 a thing telling her, you know, letting you know that she's not really interested. See, when a girl's feeling you, she will find time to see you. You feel what I'm saying? So if you said, hey, let's go out Friday, she'd be like, oh, I'm busy Friday, but... I can see you sad. You understand what I'm saying? She'll try to make something happen. But if she's just like, I'm busy and she's never really trying, that's, you know what I'm saying? She's not really feeling you like that. She probably just sees you as like a cool friend guy in her class. You feel what I'm saying? That's that's all it really is. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I just got like, I wasn't sure if she was trying to tell me something because she texts me like every three days and even calls like, twice and, and like, how did and how did she yeah. and how did she get your number you just gave it to her random like how did that happen what no one time i asked her like i, I said like oh um we should exchange numbers so we can talk or get together then she's like oh yeah that'd be cool I, i'd like mm. the same thing something like that okay yeah she's not she's not really trying to make it happen yeah you just gotta you just oh, gotta okay. keep that shit pushing she, you know what i'm saying that's all that is <laughs> all right all right bro thank you man i appreciate you for uh, taking the call all right man i'm Allah. peace okay cool see you bye yeah, man, these chicks, man, you got it, you got it, yo. Chicks make it real easy when they feeling you. Chicks make it real easy when they feeling you. Locker room, what you talking about? You said Miles called up last time and literally proved your point about LMS. What are you talking about? How do you prove your point about LMS? He did not. He, he I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. All right, let me see who else this is. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Yo, boy, you are. Yo. You hear me? I can hear you a little bit, but you sound like you got a pillow over your phone. What's going on? <laughs> you hear me now? I can hear you a little bit better now. What's popping? All right. Uh, yeah, man. I, um, I was just coming from the store and shit. I was going to go pick up my medicine. Okay. <laughs> And I seen this little yellow gun came walking out. So, mm. you know, it's hot to get outside. So I'm putting, I put my hand over, you know, you put the hand over your forehead to cover the sun a little bit. Right. I did that. And, and Shorty, you know, Shorty got the flick in her hand and all that shit. You know what I mean? As I'm walking towards her. So I see, I, you know, I, I get to hollering at her, man. You know what I mean? I'm like, what you doing tonight? Man, you should get the devil, you know what I mean? Go, go, go out, grab a drink, whatnot. She like, she was on the phone too, so she told the person on the phone, like, hold up. And then she was just like, oh no, nah, I'm be busy and all that shit. So I'm like, all right. Without uh, mainly saying, though, because I see the title of the video, man, mm. you gotta be, definitely, you gotta be direct, you know? Mm. You gotta stand out. Mm. As far as being high value, a lot of dudes don't be hollering at girls and shit, you know what I mean? They don't be shooting that jumper. Right. Well, 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 the thing is, the thing is this, man, the thing is this is, see, a lot of dudes, they, they try to do trickery or weird shit to, 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 to seem like they're a high value guy. See, you have to actually become that dude. You have to actually be that guy. And the way that you be that guy is with your actions on a consistent basis. You see what I'm saying? So, so 
So, so with anything, when it comes to you interacting with women, it's like on a consistent basis, you got to charge chicks who are disrespectful. On a consistent basis, it's like if you, like you said, you was hollering at a girl in the street, if she ain't really trying to be cooperative, you just got to keep that shit pushing. Don't try to like still try to get with her or try to convince, you know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're supposed to be like, I'm too valuable for that shit. You feel what I'm saying? And that's, that's really all it is. You feel what I mean? Yeah, yo, and I got I got this one thing I do now, right? Mm. It's like if I see if I see a, a, a cute chick or, or something, and I'm like in her vicinity or whatever, mm. I just I say like, damn, she fine as hell, loud enough for her to hear. You know oh come mean? on, don't do that. You <laughs> that's mad indirect, bro. We just go to her, just go up to her and tell her like, yo, what's good? You fine as shit. What's popping? You feel what I'm saying? Right. Right. Yeah, that's all you got to do. But, bro, let me... I got to get a few more of these calls, man. They coming in, bro. And fix your phone, right, man. Your man, phone sound like it's all the way down the block, bro. You feel me? <laughs> all right, man. I'm a holler, man. Peace. Yeah, dudes' phones be sounding crazy. Number 646-481-3901. You feel me? You said you can't hardly hear what he's saying. He said he was on, he was on Earth 2. <laughs> I think he said he was on Earth 2. Yo, What's popping? What's up with you, my nigga? What's going on? Who this? This is James, man. What's going on, bro? Hey, so check this out. Now, look, bro, I've been listening to you, right? Mm. I'm following everything you've been teaching me, right? Mm. I had met this girl probably eight months ago. Right. We we was together. It was cool. And then, we, you know, how, you know, you don't get back. She didn't get back. And I was watching her um, social media. So she had met this dude, and she had moved out of state. Mm. And, um... Saw her mom on the page talking about marriage and stuff, so I left it alone. Mm -hmm. So about a week ago, I saw her active on the social media. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, so I went and checked it out. That didn't pan out. Mm -hmm. She was back in town, so I just hit her up. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, if you ain't doing nothing, get back at me or whatever. So I was at the store shopping, whatever. She hit me up. Mm -hmm. Like, what you doing today? Now, this is the thing. I had a situation medically, right, mm -hmm. where... I, I really wasn't in a position really to be dating. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Okay. But she had hit me up. So I said, oh. So anyhow, I went and got her or whatever. Bought her to the mm -hmm. house. Right. Feeling all on her and shit. She feeling me and shit. Just grabbing her everywhere. You know, she feeling me and shit. Mm -hmm. We getting ready to get down, right? Okay, well, this is the thing. I had to uh, use the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Not mm -hmm. the number one, but the number two. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I was trying my best not, you know, I was trying to squeeze, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and not to, and I, you know, I'm saying, I was trying not to do that. I was trying right. to say, okay, how am I going to do this? So while she had got on the phone, right? We was flirting and kissing and stuff, she had got on the phone. Ooh. So I, I, I got up real quick, right? Mm. And, and dipped to the bathroom, right? Right. So I dipped in, right? And I was trying to do it real quick, right? And she walked in, man, and saw me taking a shit. <laughs> And, and everything that you say about the energy and the, it was, I looked at her face, man. I didn't see her directly. I saw her sideways. That shit was gone. <laughs> when Hello. I right, went back to get it, man, it was like, <laughs> it was like I had to start from ground zero, man. It was nothing there, man. Matter of fact, I tried to grab on the ass. She pushed my hand away. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh. And, uh, you know, just, everything just died, man. I wound up having to take her back home. Mm -hmm. And I was like, fuck, man. I was like, damn, yeah, man. But I, I, I couldn't hold it, man. That's funny. Well, that, that's what happens sometimes, man. You know what I'm saying? That is that's, That happens sometimes. So you got to, you know, you got to just uh, make sure next time <laughs> that you take a shit before you go see her or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, I just... I, put me on some medicine, you know, and like, you know, the duress. Oh, right, yeah. So the medicine probably fucked the shit with your bowel movements and shit, so. And, and then, like you had said, you know, you said when they, when they contact you, you need to go ahead and you know, hit them up, get them in. You right, know? right. Damn, so I was, bro. I was, I was trying to go by that, man, and I really wasn't in no position. And, and I know it, it messed her up because I'm sure I'm the only guy that's ever, you know, in the middle of making out, you know, right. took a shit. <laughs> But hey, man, it's, it's it's one of the things, man. You, you live and you learn, bro. You feel what I'm saying? You just gotta, you just gotta, you know. I, know, bro. I, I gotta eat that loss, man. And, and 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 to be honest, she hasn't even hit me back. I hit her up on social media. She hasn't said nothing back. Nah, you gotta charge that to the game, bro. You feel me? Yeah. 
Oh man, but yo, thanks, thanks for calling, man. That's that a funny ass story. Man. <laughs> Hi, bro. Peace. Oh man, let me get who's this? Yo, what's popping? Who's this? Yo, what's up, Lucario? What's going on? Who this? It's Dave from Chicago. What up? What's going on with you, bro? Man, Joe, so like, uh, shit. Um, y'all, so my thing is this: it's like I was gonna be listening to one of your videos a long time ago. You was on. I think it was your video. You said your view on women. It's like and I was talking to my cousin about this a minute ago. It's like if women like really just out here just fucking sucking and, and doing all this shit or whatever, right? Then like, what's really like the what? It's like. Why do women still try to put on this aside, this aside and try to present they so to society like they like sweet little angels and shit? Mm. If it's really getting down like that, how it is, you feel me? Right. I've been listening to a lot of your videos, and that's why I really like, I like when you touch up on that subject, you feel me? Right. Well, the thing is, they, they see, they got to put on the, uh, <laughs> the facade because. That's the only way they're gonna be able to to navigate in, in 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 the dating world and get what they want because it's the thing is, you know, and it, and this is what this see, <laughs> this is the, the the thing is chicks chicks are gonna always uh live double lives. You understand what I'm saying? So uh -huh. they're gonna do their shit and you know they're gonna do their shit and then when they meet you, if they see you as the guy like oh I like this guy I want him to be my boyfriend I want to keep seeing him I want to keep hanging out with him. They're gonna they're gonna pretend like they're not that you know slut type chick. You feel know what I'm saying? So that's how they do. Yeah, that, that, yeah that, I, I, that's what it is, bro. Cause that's why I get a lot. Cause like you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a light skin nigga. You know, so <laughs> I got like this little job and shit. You know, more for keep a little money to pop this shit. Mm. And I be getting that a lot. Like when I be getting that bitches, like they look at me different. They look at all these other bummy ass niggas. Mm. Like they take more for me and shit. Mm. You know? But I'm like, I'm just trying to drop some dick inside you too. I ain't trying to be like none of these other. Like right. you feel me? I'm, right. I'm trying to be like some of these alpha niggas drop dick you and keep moving. Right, know? right. And that's the thing. See, and, and and based off of how you act is the way that a woman is going to respond to you. You feel what I'm saying? So a lot of times, dudes. See, sometimes what happens is a, a, a chick be thinking, "Oh, this guy, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a try, I'm gonna make him wait." But then you act like the type of dude who only want to fuck. So then she'll fuck you because she's like, oh, this nigga just want to fuck. So I'm just going to fuck this guy. But uh, sometimes, and, and this is the funny part. Sometimes a chick will be like, oh, I want to fuck this guy. But then you act like the type of guy who don't want to fuck. Like you'd be like, oh, yeah, I want to hang out with you and get to know you and all that. So then she'll do that. She'll be like, well, let me do this shit then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Based off how you act. Yeah. You know? These Chicago bitches, they do that, bro, out here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. They all about trying to get over on this. They run to a lot of groups. They run to groupies every day. Like, right. real didn't come at them. That's what the move for you, feel. Mm hmm. Right. Nah, like, real, real talk, bro. Real didn't come at them. And it's like, okay, I just fucking suck them. You already know how I go. Whatever. I give you pussy. You know how to get and go. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I can't do nothing with them. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it, but the thing is, if you if you trying to be there, because you say you just trying to drop some some dick off in them and then keep it moving. That's how you got to come at them. You got to come at them that same way with that same energy. Like, yo, this is all I'm trying to do. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Real that's talk, real talk. that's what it is, bro. Right. Now nah, that's all good because sometimes you don't get it on the first night. But but at least now she know though. So she know the next yeah. time she see you that it's on. You feel what I'm saying? On my life. You know that's what it is, bro. But yo, let me get it. Let me get a few more of these calls, man. I appreciate your call, bro. All right? All right, bro. All right, man. Be safe. All right. Yo, what's popping? Yo. Yo. What's going on? Who this? What's up, Mr. Carter? This is Sean from Vegas. What's going on, bro? Big What's good with you? Man. Big fan, man. Appreciate it, man. What's going on with you, though? Um, I, I most recently moved out here from Atlanta, Georgia, and um, now I'm in Vegas. But mm. sometimes I feel like it's a struggle to talk to these women, man. Like, I'm so used to high school <laughs> and just coming into the pub public. Like, I feel like sometimes I, I just stutter up on my approach. Mm. And... I want to approach females in social media environments and real life environments. So can you give me some tips? Mm. So you say. So you're saying that it's. Is you, you say you live in Vegas? Yeah. 
Man, Vegas got a lot of joints down there, bro. Like you say, yeah, you say, white, white snow bunnies out here. <laughs> <laughs> so you say you have, so you say you having trouble just like getting at them and stuff. Yeah, just approaching like. So what? So what happens? What happens right, when you approach? Right. What happened? I said, what happens when you approach them? Well, I usually just come off like flirty, like I'll be like, "Hey, I like, I like how you look." You know what I'm saying? I'm mm-hmm. trying to come up on their number real quick, <laughs> but I know like it has to be a deeper meaning to the situation. Mm-hmm. But sometimes I be forgetting that in the moment because of the way I look at them. You know what I'm saying? Man, well, I mean, well, the, the thing I can tell you now, for, first, first, I'm going to tell you, you, you definitely need to join the Bad Boy membership. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's you got to do, because there's, there's a lot of information that you need to, to know that's going to help you out immensely that I can't, like, go through it all. But but basically, um, one one thing I would say, though, is that, you know, what's going to what's gonna increase your success and what's going to make you have more shit popping off is that you have to first switch your mindset up you understand because you're already like damn this shit is hard or whatever now you gotta you have to stop looking at it that way you feel what i'm saying you have to look at it as it is what it is like this is this is the the game right here right but also too you got to put yourself out there more you feel what i'm saying because the more you do shit right the more the easier it becomes because the more knowledge you gain on what you're doing so for example like, like like for example right now where even me doing live streams and stuff, because I've been doing this shit for years, it's easy for me to, you know, just talk for this long and talk for two hours. You understand what I'm saying? Because I've been doing it for a lot, for exactly. so long. So what happens exactly. is the more you do it, um, the easier it becomes. But all the all the stuff that you need to learn about, like, the techniques and all this other stuff, that stuff you gotta, you know, you're gonna have to take time to study. So uh, what I would suggest for you to do is, I, on my website, I have a program called Master Approaching Women in 30 Days or Less. Get that shit. It's only seven dollars. You feel what I'm saying? Get that shit. Right, just start with that. That's like just baby step shit to do, just to get you used to it. All right, and then you, you know, you graduate to more to other shit. But um, but yo, man, I appreciate the call. I gotta get a few more of these in. All right. All right, Mr. McCarty. All right, bro. Peace, man. All right. So the caller number six four six four eight one three nine zero one. Call in. Five at a time. Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's poppin', Mr. Claudio? This is Kevin from California. What up, bro? What's going on with you? What's poppin', bro? Hey, man, I just got, like, a couple situations, you mm. know what I'm saying? I just want to, like, unpack it real quick with you. All right, real quick. Don't go too long. We're <laughs> going. I'm like, uh, I don't know, man. Like, okay, so let me just really quick say this real quick about, mm. okay, a few years ago, mm. um, there's this girl I knew. I ended up seeing her at the club, and like I ended up seeing who she was with, and then like I ended up asking the girl that I knew um, if we can both hook up, like all three of us. Mm. And there was no problem hooking up. Um, so that was that, and that was the last time I've ever hooked up with like two women. Mm. But it's just like I'm at a school, and there was this chick that I approached. And she kind of seen me before, and I approached most of her friends. And because, like, there was a time where, like, I was like talking to this chick, and then she ended up sitting down, like, randomly. Hold but on, wait, wait, wait. So wait, hold on. What's your, what's your, what's your specific question? Because you sound like you're going a lot of tangents. Okay, my, my, my specific question is because there was this dude trying to like protect this chick, mm. um, because I came off across um, a certain way towards her like I was very I was very direct and mm. then to this guy I was basically like disrespectful and shit but like I was just asking this chick with what I want mm. you know what I'm saying but like he came he came at me telling me some type of shit like um like he ended up trying to be like oh there's a security guard over here I'll bring the security guard mm. here mm. or you know you can deal with me you know what I'm saying like right. but, like I just don't understand What's what's the like? What's the point of having like, like a security guard come come to me if I'm doing something with a chick that's like me and her? Like, was, I, I basically told her like, because like I. Well, this is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. So you're basically saying you're trying to holler at a chick, and some Captain Save a whole simp dude is is making it a big deal, getting in your face or whatever. 
And you want to, so you want to know like how to deal with those situations? I mean, I deal with it pretty fine, but I'm just saying like, why does a, if a security guard were to come, mm. what if it went to that level? I mean, mm. what's going to go, what's going to go down with me? Because I basically asked this chick knowing that she was um, bisexual because she has like a girlfriend. Mm. So I basically asked this chick to, you know, maybe you and your girlfriend, we can like hook up and then. You know what I'm saying? Right. So why? So like, why? You, so why? Hold on. So why are you worried about the security guard? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, w- if the security guard comes in, like, what's the point? Why did that guy end up telling me? Because like, he, I'm because he's, because he, he's a bitch ass. That's why he's doing that. He's, he's, he's corny. He's, he's a Captain Save a Whole dude. He ain't got no game. So just understand that there's gonna be dudes that's gonna do that. Just watch out for that, cause you know, you know, a lot of these cats are. On some stupid shit, so you don't want to get into no f- stupid shit because of some some idiot like that. So you know, if that situation happens, I would tell you in, in most cases, don't even really try to fuck with the chick like that because if she got a dude around her like that, he's gonna be on some other shit. You you don't want that energy around you. You feel what I'm saying? But as far as like you know, you out here doing what you're doing, you understand? Just do you and just you know what I'm saying. Just don't worry too much about the security guards and worry about the dude. Just, you know, keep that shit pushing if it get too ridiculous. You feel what I'm saying? And that's it. Right. All right, right. bro. But y'all got to get a few more of these calls, bro. All right? All right appreciate man. you, man. Hey, I appreciate your help, bro. All right, man. But yeah, you guys, if you ever in them situations, don't uh, don't engage with no dude fucking with, you know what I'm saying? Like trying to fight a dude over with no chick. Don't do none of that shit. Yo, what's popping? Who's this? Yo, it's Young Stutter. What's going on? What's going on? Hey, uh. Yeah, man, dude, you talking about the game and shit, man. All you gotta do is just be a flamboyant asshole. That's all. <laughs> so what? What's good with you though? Shit, man, I'm chilling. Um, but yeah, like that dude. For the last conversation and shit, he was talking about some some uh girl being having a girlfriend and shit. Mm. I talked to him. I had a lift driver come and get me, right? Mm. And my lift driver was bad as hell, and I'm looking at it like, oh, this bitch is fine. Mm. So I get the rapping tour and shit. You know what I mean? Like, how old you at? What you be doing? Just this and that. Mm. So I'm like, yeah, maybe we should get together, go out, go out sometime, grab a drink. She's like, oh, I would like to do that, but I got a girlfriend. So I'm like, all right, dang. Mm. So I was, I started questioning her, so you know what I mean, digging a little deep. I'm like, so is she like the dominant type girl? Mm. Like, she like the man in the relationship? She's like, nah, she, uh, she feminine. So I'm mm. like, all right, so you and your girlfriend go out on a, you know, a date with me and get her have a drink. Mm. She's like, oh, the asshole and shit. Like, you know, you know what I mean? So. I just laughed it off and shit, but basically, man, what I realized and shit, in my little bit of time, mm. uh, you know, learn, learning the game and shit, and you know. What happened? Dude cut off? He just, this nigga just hung up. <laughs> he was like, I learned about the game, and he just fucking hung up. Oh, man. DJ Shaddy Perp was popping. Appreciate you, man. Man. That's crazy. Let me see who else this is. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Yo, LaCarrie, how you doing? It's uh, Create Noise from New Jersey. What's popping? What's going on? Yo, uh, I got a question to you about... Uh, I don't know if you touched earlier on this. I, I just showed up like on the stream. But uh, I actually want to talk to you about the idea of honesty. Mm-hmm. Um, yo, it, it's... It's a bit... Like, I get what you're saying about honesty. You talk a lot about how you just shoot be honest with chicks, you know. It, it'll probably just, just part, basically it'll flow better and it's just more efficient at the end of the day, right? Mm-hmm. That's more or less what you're saying. Right. But like, yeah, so but how, how, do you, how do you, how do you, how do you, uh, how do you integrate that in your character when, like, you know, at your job, sometimes you have to, like, you know, sometimes it can be, like, office politics at your job. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're engaged at church, there can even be politics at church. Sometimes you with your family. Sometimes with your, your main social circle. Mm-hmm. You know, that's, you know, that's that's a little deep. But anyways, it, it's, 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 a diff- it's, it's a bit difficult to be, to, to put on honesty with a chick when sometimes other aspects of your life are just maybe not 100%. They're basically not, well. If it's not a hundred, then it's just that's it. It's not a hundred. Mm. So it, it's a bit difficult to be consistent in, in the sense with yourself, mm. honest, right. and then to be like mostly honest in the dating game. So like, how, how do you how do you kind of organize that in your head? Like, how, how do you how do you process that, or how do you go about it? 
as far as just like being honest overall, like just in, you know, like trying to be honest yeah. in your overall everyday life? I guess, yeah, because if like the, the idea of being honest with chicks and mm. the dating came out then, but then having to maneuver, you, it's like it's difficult to be 100% honest with mm. the other things in your life. And then being honest with chicks in the dating game, it's just a bit inconsistent, you know what I mean? Right. Well, so the that thing can, is... That, that can like mess you up a little bit. Right. Well, the thing is this, is that, you, you know... You want to, it's like this, you want to be, you want to have already just, um, you know, that honest vibe about you, period. You understand what I'm saying? But let's say okay. if you were in a situation where um, you being honest, let's say, for example, if you're in a situation where you being honest was so fucking, uh, you know, um, going to be detrimental to a certain situation... And, and okay. lying and lying. So let's say for I'm trying to give an example that's that's kind of extreme. So let's say for example, oh. I had like a gun to your 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 mom's head, and I said, you know, tell me tell me where you know tell me this thing, tell me the truth about this thing or whatever. And by you telling me the yeah. truth, I would have to shoot your mom in the head. But lying will save her life. In that situation, you just lie to save her, you're gonna just lie to save her life. You feel what I'm saying? Because in that situation, it's serious. You see what I mean? But okay. right. when it comes to dealing with women, though, right? Yeah. When it comes to dealing with women, it's not that serious for you to have to go outside yourself to lie. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what that's what I mean when I talk about when I talk about being honest with women. It's 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 because your the honesty should be the core state of where of where you're at. You understand what I'm saying? So that's yeah. that's your character. That's who you are. That's the, the you know what you represent. But if a, a situation happens, you got to get outside a character to lie because that would make um, the situation, for example, if it's a dangerous situation and lying is going to get you out this situation, then you fucking lie. But see, when you lie to a chick, what you're basically saying is the chick is as important as that other situation you needed to lie for. You understand what I'm saying? So, so don't even. So you're saying don't even deal with the chick if you basically have to lie. Is that more or less? Right. Well, well, I'm just saying that don't look at women as well. I'm saying that bi your your basis should be should be honesty, but don't look as don't look at women as uh, a situation that would that you need to lie for. So, for example, if you were let's say you were working at a job, and one of your friends works there too, and let's say the boss said, "Hey, did your friend do this thing?" And by you saying he did, he's gonna get fired. But by you saying he didn't, he'll stay on the job. You might say he didn't, which is a lie, to help him yeah. stay on the job. You feel what I'm saying? So you're so what yeah. I'm saying is that you're lying because you, you the the being honest is gonna make the yeah. shit go on you know to, to, to that left. So now the reason why guys lie to women is because they feel that same way. They say, Well, I need to lie because if I lie, then maybe I'm gonna get what I want. You see what I'm saying? But what I'm yeah. saying is that women are not that important. For you to lie because as soon as you start lying to women you're putting them on a pedestal you're making them as important as some other thing you would feel you need to lie for you see what i'm saying okay all right i'm starting i'm starting to get it a little bit right so and, okay. so what i'm saying is lying so what i'm saying is that when you're dealing with women and you feel like you need to lie what happens is is that you're putting them on a pedestal because you're saying, well, I don't want to. I don't want to be honest because if I be honest, that might make her not want to fuck with me. You see what I'm saying? So, so by you thinking, well, the lie will probably make her want to fuck with me, so I'm gonna just lie. So again, you're putting the woman on the pedestal. You're making the woman uh, extremely important to the point where you feel you need to lie. You see what I'm saying? Okay, uh, I see. So, um, but it, it's all. It's all. You're also. You're also saying you can be honest also because I mean. Uh, okay, so let me let me see if I got this straight. Mm. You're saying that being honest, it's not really you're not doing it. You're not being honest for the sake of just being honest, like you know, society tells you be honest, right? Mm. Mm. Uh, I, it sounds like you're you're saying that whatever happens, and you saying it to the best of your ability, that is the best situation that could have happened with mm. being honest. Mm. Right. What like, I'm saying. That, like, right. What I'm what I'm okay. saying is that your your the, the base of your the base level should be honesty. You feel what I'm saying? Now, okay. if a, a if a situation occurs, like I said, if uh, the example of me having the gun to your mom's head, if a situation occurs yeah. where you lying needs to happen in order for something to go down, right? Then you do that. You, yeah. you do that. But what I'm saying is that women in general should not be that important for you to need to lie. 
You understand what I'm saying? Because okay. as soon as you do that, you're elevating them to the importance of something else you would feel you need to lie for. You see what I'm saying? Just like just like when a guy see when a guy, um, you know, is is chilling with a girl, and yeah. he's he's let's say the girl says, "Oh, are you dating other girls?" And let's say he is dating other girls, and yeah. he'll say, "Oh, I'm not dating other girls." So he's lying to her because. He feels if he tells her, yeah, I'm dating other girls, she's not going to like that. She's not going to want to fuck with him anymore. So so, so what I'm saying is that but he's doing he's he's doing that lie because he he feels the girl is too valuable to not lie to. You see what I'm saying? I mean, to not to, you know what I'm saying? He's like, well, I don't want to lose her, so I'm going to lie. Instead of him just saying, yeah, I'm fucking with other girls or just like, you know, like moving away from the question. Yeah. He's going he's going to basically, you know, um, you know, lie because he feels like. If he says this, he's going to lose her. And again, this is what I'm saying, that based off of what he's doing or based off of him, um, you know, basically lying, he's putting that situation, which is the girl that he's dealing with, on a pedestal. That's all I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And and also, like, I remember, I think it was, I think, yeah, I think it was you that said, like, uh, when, you, when you're when you dealing with girls, you're either operating out of love or out of fear. Mm. Does that tie into that? Say that again? I think I think you once said that when you're dealing with women, you're either operating out of love or out of fear. Mm -hmm. does, does that tie into that? Like, like uh, I, I kind of understand. Yeah, yeah, because if, not, yeah, not, because not, not, not totally. Right. Well, this is the thing. If you if you're lying to the chick, you're operating out of fear. Because again, when you're lying, period, you're operating out of fear. You see what I'm saying? Just like when I use the example of your friend at the job, you lied about him not doing the thing because you feared him getting fired. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> So that's that's what it is. So that's why you lie. You lie out of the guy is lying to the woman out of fear of losing the woman. You feel what I'm saying? That's what it is. You uh, see what I mean? Okay. Hey, um, hey, uh, I actually like to get like a private one-on-one -on -one, uh, mm. talk with you because I actually want to talk more about this. Like, mm. is, is yeah, that's definitely. On your, just on your website. Yeah, go to go to MrLocario.com and it's going to be on the front page. The thing that's going to flash it says 30 minute game session. You just click on yeah. that and then you can uh, you know set it up. All right. All right, man. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. I'm going to holler at you, bro. Peace. All right, man. Take it easy. All right. Man. So what's popping in the chat room, people? Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's up, Lucario? What's popping? from Jersey. What's going on, bro? What's popping? Yo, so, like... I had to call up. I was listening to shit and talking about lying and shit. I mm. went on a date in a city with some chick that I met on Tinder. Mm. And we started to have a conversation or whatever the case is. Mm. And I straight up told her, when we're in conversation, mind you, we're having a conversation. She, she asked me, she was like, yo, when was the last time you saw with a chick? Mm. I said, the day before. Mm. So, yo, I was straight up with her. Mm. She respected me. And that night, we went back to my crib. We smashed. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, when you lie, right there and then, she can feel that energy mm -hmm. that you're lying. Mm -hmm. Right. These chicks be picking off this shit. Mm -hmm. And, yo, and I be listening to some of these calls, and you know what it is? These guys are, like, listening to shit, and I don't want to speak for nobody, but this is what I realized. They be listening to all these other YouTubers and putting all their shit together of all these YouTubers, and then they try to go out there and spit some games, and they be confused what works and what doesn't. Right. And that shit don't work like that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Nah, real shit. So, yeah, yeah. But I just want to say that. And another thing, too, is that, like, the most important thing that I realized as, as a, I'm only 26, but um, I realized everything is within you, dog. So, mm -hmm. like, at the end of the day, when you start questioning shit, start questioning yourself. Because if shit's not going right, it's probably because of you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So, facts. I real talk. Of that. Real talk, brother. Uh, I, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you calling in and, and lacing them with that game. You feel me? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Appreciate it, bro. I'm going at you, man. Peace. All right, son. Bye. All right. Let me get a few more of these. Yo, what's popping? Yo, what's going on? This is Brandon. What up? What's going on with you? Nice to meet you. Um, so I've been, I've been listening to you for, for a minute now. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, you're, you're very famous for your... Uh, your looks money status uh, <laughs> counter argument, which I completely agree with. Right. <laughs> um, and one thing that I want to 
just talk about is because I, I am I, I am an attractive guy and I mm-hmm. do get a lot of attention from women. Mm-hmm. And I think many times what guys don't know is you can get a lot of attention from women, but that doesn't mean you're going to get a date. That doesn't mean you're going to get sex. Right. So, <laughs> so the struggle is like for me is how do I? And sometimes I do think that women are intimidated, mm-hmm. like because they think I'm going to be a certain way when they're talking to me. So how do I? like, deal with that, like, how can I be more, I guess, approachable, or just mm. be, like, to, to, to just deal with that situation, because I'm sure you can relate to that. Right, right, no, this is the thing, though, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta understand, and, and this is the, this is the thing that I say to guys who, um, you know, a, like, a large number of women may perceive as, like, good-looking and all this other shit, is that mm-hmm. you, you have to, you have to be aware of, of how women view you. You feel what I'm saying? And so and so when you're aware of how women view you, then it gives you it gives you a better indicator of how to come at them in certain ways. You see what I'm saying? So so for example, so for example, like you said, there might be a girl who who may be intimidated by you. You feel what I'm saying? And so because you know she's intimidated by you and because you you can tell she's um, you know, like feeling that way, right? What's going to happen is is that you're going to have to lay on the you you know you're gonna have to lay it on a little thick of of how you're um basically feeling her see this is why i was telling guys i, I did a video about this years ago or not years ago like i think a few months ago where i was talking about how high value guys have to um validate women you understand what i'm saying so so yeah. what th- so what that means is that sometimes what you're gonna probably have to do is if you see a girl and you're talking to her you're flirting with her you know you might have to compliment her more than the average dude you understand? You. Because she's already intimidated. She 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 already thinks you don't like her like that. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So so you have to sort of balance that out with letting her know you're feeling her. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's gonna make her right. You see what I mean? That's gonna make especially, her more receptive to you. You see what I mean? Yeah, especially them thick girls because they be thinking they're fat sometimes, and I'm like, nah, right. like you look good, and you ha- and like that shit's annoying. So mm-hmm. I, I mean, yeah. Right, right. Nah, real talk, real talk. Nah, that's all you gotta do. So all you gotta do is just be, just be a little bit more aware of how to, how the women are responding to you, and then mm-hmm. because you know that, okay, a lot of women are kind of intimidated by me. I can tell that a lot of women are scared to, you know, or, or they think I'm playing around when I'm trying to get with them. You're gonna be like, all right, well, since I know this, then I gotta let the chick know that, hey, I'm trying to, you know, I'm really trying to do this. I'm really trying to make this happen. And 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 be consistent with that, and then you'll have more women who are going to gravitate to you uh, because of that. But it's all about awareness. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, and I and I can still do that without like breaking myself down. Like I don't need to like, oh, I'm not. I, I'm not going to pretend like I'm not an attractive girl. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. You don't do that. You you don't you don't you don't break. You don't build. You don't go down. You you bring them up to your level. You see what I'm saying? That's okay. what it's about. That's what it's about. You feel me? All right, All right bro. You. Appreciate the call, my dude. All right. All right. Later. Crazy. All right. Call the number 646-481-3901. Yo, what's popping? Who's this? Hello? Yo, what's going on? What's good? Um, it's um, JNSD. What's going on with you, man? Chilling, man. I, I just want to holler at you on um, because um, I'm in a situation right now. You feel me? Like, I consider myself, like, right now, kind of like at that peak. Like, I ain't never been before. You feel me? Like, mm. and I'm just like, that wave of females just hitting me. Mm. And it's like, you feel me? The shit, like, so overwhelming. It's like, I'm like real sloppy with the shit because you feel me? I got, I'm seeing a, a chick tonight, and then another chick want to chill. And then I've been going through it the past, past few days. I just, Technically, man, like seeing chicks this whole week. Mm-hmm. So, the, you know what I'm saying? When I don't go out with one, they stand and not the next day. And so, I'm, I'm, I want to know, like, do you got like any videos or advice, like, mm-hmm. like on how I can like manage the shit? Cause the shit like real sloppy right now. Right. Well, I mean, the thing is this, man. See, you, that's good though. You you got the player problems right now. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so all, all no, all it really is is about it's about time management. You understand? Know like, how many how many chicks you got on the team right now? About seven, I want to say. Damn, see you, see you really. <laughs> this nigga got seven. That's what I'm talking about. So, yeah, basically, it's all about just about time management. You feel what I'm saying? So, 
what it is is that you you know let's say because let's say all, all seven of them are trying to see you right so you say listen mm-hmm. um i'm gonna see you know let's say you got girl a b c d e f g whatever so you tell girl a listen i'm gonna see you uh friday at whatever you feel what i'm saying friday at six right then you tell mm-hmm. another girl listen i'm gonna see you monday at seven whatever so all you got to do is is manage the time well that so now because you got seven that don't mean you got to see all seven of them all week you feel what i'm saying so right. you could see like three or four of those girls in a week and then the next three you see the next week and then you, you know what i'm saying you flip-flop it so because you still want to give yourself time for yourself you feel what i'm saying um right but but yeah it's just all about the time management and then and, and also what happens is is that because you're uh giving them all some time you feel what i'm saying and you're being consistent with that that's what's going to keep them around because so so what i'm saying is what you got to do is set up a time to see each each of them but also stick to that time and be consistent with it. You see what I'm saying? So what that means is, what you don't want to do is, you don't want to tell girl, hey, hey, I'm going to see you Friday, and then you flake on her. You feel what I'm saying? Because I've then... I've been doing that dumb shit. You what happened? Like, like, you feel me? Like, I've been like, you feel me? Like, slipping up. Nah, that's what you like, can't, that's what I'm saying. You can't do that. You can't, don't, you can't flake. You can't be on that flaky shit. So this is what I'm saying. You got to make sure that you set a time and you just stick to it. And that's it. You feel what I'm saying? That's what's going to... Even if it's... Because the thing is this. You might just see each girl like once a week or once every two weeks. You feel what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. what happens is is because you stick to what you're saying, that's what keeps them um, fucking with you. You feel what I'm saying? That's what right. keeps them fucking and, with you. You see what I mean? But if you're all last, over the place, it's going to be fucking up. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And one last point. Now, I think I, think I felt the like... The kind of the like... The reversal of that shit, like the backside of that shit, where it fucked me up. Cause mm. like I had, I had like I'm dealing with like seven right now, mm. but I got like I got way more numbers than that. And right. there'll be some girls that um, let's say if I got a chick on Instagram, she'll um, she'll give me her number, and then she'll like three days have passed, I'll like forget that I even got a number. And she'll be like, damn. So you ain't hit me up. You, I, I gave you my number for nothing. Then right. she'll like, nah, I ain't fucking with you no more. Like just mm. like that. Like, right. <laughs> Well, that's going to happen, bro. That's part of the game. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. part of the game. But, hey, you, you already got some more on the roster, so that don't even that don't even matter. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, right. So, you know, yeah, just keep – so, remember, just just time management and then and stay consistent with, with the, the times you're supposed to see them, and you should be good. You feel what I'm saying? I right, appreciate it. All right, bro. Mala, peace. Later. Yeah. All right. Call in number 646-481. 3901. But yeah, when you start, you know, fucking with a lot of chicks, that time management is serious. It is serious. Damn, we got like a million fucking people calling. Yo, what's poppin'? Who's this? Yo, it's got juice from LA. What's bro? What's going on, bro? Good. I'm getting, doing well. I approach um maybe like seven chicks yesterday mm-hmm. and the day before that you know I wasn't out there that much and then yesterday I felt more confident in myself and the first ship I was saying hi whatever mm-hmm. and then the second conversation I went to my dad's job I seen this uh, lady and then I guess she like felt my energy or something mm-hmm. she, she came up to me and then I said a few words, and then we had, like, a long conversation. Mm. And then she left and came back. So so I'm like, yeah, I'm getting more better at it. So mm. I understand what you're saying. I need to get out there more. And the thing I did is deleted uh, some, of the, some of the dating apps and um, these mm. Facebook stuff. That was more messed me up, and I deleted some of these YouTubers, too. <laughs> and I started listening. I listened to what you were saying, mm. and it helped me out more. Right. I don't know if you could tell. I don't know if you could tell. I was speaking more, I guess, more slowly. Right, right, right. That's now. what's up, bro. That's what's up, man. That's what I like to hear, man, when, you know, dudes is really out here making it happen, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And I have um, I have my money ready for my birthday next month mm. on the 11th, so I'm getting ready for the Bad Boy membership, and I'm going up. to Vegas for a week. So, oh shit, yo! Vegas is I the move. Yeah, <laughs> Vegas is the move, bro. Trust me, I was out there. Uh, like, what was it two months ago? Man, that joint is crazy out there. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, because I'm about to be 24, so I got to start start off big before mm-hmm. my birth. I mean, yeah, once my birthday starts. So I already got money for the Bad Boy membership, mm-hmm. and I got money for, like, some shoes that I'm going to wear out there, and I'm taking my dad and his friends, so we're going to have a blast. That's what's up, bro. Man, yeah, man, keep me posted. Let me know, let me know what happens when you out there. You feel me? Okay, thank you. All right, bro, mahalo. Peace. That's what up. That's what's up, man. That's what I like to hear, man. Dude's really getting it Ooh. in, man. That's what it's about. That's what it is about, bro. All right, we got 203 people watching. Make sure you guys get the likes up and all that. You feel me? You feel me? We got a lot of people calling in today. 646-481-3901. want to try to get to everybody. Yo, what's popping? Who's this? Yo, Locario. What's Locario. going on? Who's this? Hello. Hello? Who's popping? Who's this? Locker room. What's good, oh, bro? Oh, shit. What's going on, bro? So, listen, Locario, your, your, your last live stream, it had, me, it, had, it had me cracking up with, uh, when Miles called in. Like I told you in the chat, he pretty much, you know what I'm saying, pretty much went ahead and confirmed, you know, looks money and status. I don't know if you caught that. Well, what is, what did he, how did he, conf- what did he confirm about looks money and status? Okay, well, you remember in the live stream, he called up, he was, he was, he was complaining and crying about how he, you know, uh, 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 was subjected to hitting a fat ass bitch, right? Mm-hmm. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so here's my question to you, Ocario. Why would he be having sex with a fat woman when he did, he doesn't want to do he doesn't want to do something like that? Why no, no, no. See, you, see, you didn't, you didn't. No, you didn't. That was on. First of all, that was on the Bad Boy Show. What you what you didn't hear right was. The chick, cause see, this is the thing. This is the thing when you when you fuck with thick chicks, right? A a chick can look thick because she puts on with those spanks or whatever the fuck you call them, and then when she takes off her clothes, it's a whole different thing. You see what I'm saying? So the mm-hmm. thing is, he didn't he didn't go to the to a fat chick and was like, oh, I want to fuck you. You understand what I'm saying? He went to a chick who looked thick, who was fronting like she was thick, but she was really a fat chick. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so let me ask you this question, Lucario. Do you think Floyd Mayweather goes out and looks at a woman and says, you know what? You look kind of in shape. Not really. Mm. I'm still taking you home, and I'm still trying to see mm. what's good with you anyway. Mm. You see what I'm saying, Lucario? No, so, I, don't, I don't see what you're saying. What are you, what are you saying? Okay, well, what I'm saying is, Lucario, is that no man mm. is going to be having sex with women that he doesn't want to have sex with. Mm. Okay? Mm. If, he, if, he, if, he, if he's not forced to do that, this is what I'm keep trying to tell you. No, but it's what I'm saying. Nobody, no, this is what I'm saying. Nobody's forced to do anything. Nobody's forced to do anything. I don't, okay. I still don't understand what you're saying. Nobody's forced to do anything. Okay. What are you saying? Okay, so let me ask you this question. Mm-hmm. If, if, if you think he could have fucked with her or a model walking on the street, who do you think he would have picked? Say that again? Who do you think he would have chose? Say that again? If, 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 the, the, the girl he was talking about in the live stream, you think he would have chose her or he would have chose a model on the street if he could have had one on the street? You're saying would he have chose between her or a model? Yeah. It depends on it depends. It depends on how the model looks. You see what I'm saying? What type of model are you talking about? Okay, well for sake of argument, Carl, let's just go ahead and say she was a supermodel. She was Tyra Bank. Some shit like that. I mean, you gotta ask Miles because the, the ticks that I know that Miles likes, they don't look like Tyra Banks. You feel what I'm saying? They look thicker. Like Miles likes but thick my- chicks. That's what I'm trying to this is what I've been trying to explain to you for for the longest. People have different types that they like. So this is why I was even talking about the whole looks, money, status thing, is that your look can be a look that one girl likes and another girl doesn't. This is what I'm saying, where we do talk about, oh, looks this, looks that. Looks are subjective. You see what I'm saying? Okay. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is he likes thicker women. So when you fuck with thicker chicks, what happens is sometimes these thick chicks can fucking pretend that they're thick but they're actually fat you feel what i'm saying okay that's all you well, that's what you like, talk about okay all right well all right well, all right, okay. well I, I don't want to take up too much of your time bro today so all right bro, all right, bro. i'm all peace, up. peace. <laughs> oh man dudes is crazy with that shit this is what i be trying to tell this is what i be trying to tell dudes man when dudes be talking about oh well this girl's hot or this girl looks like this i'm like bro Everybody got their own taste. Like, I know I know, dude to, like, I had a friend, he would always say, oh, this chick is a dime. I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Yo, what's popping? Hey, what's going on, Mr. Mercario? What's going on? What's good? Who this? Uh, this is Aaron from uh, Kansas City. 
What's going on with you, bro? Yeah, man. Uh, I'm just having a little downtime in the game right now, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to get back into the game. Because uh, I got the game going on. And then if I go out at night, like, I might have posted, like, 10. Mm -hmm. But, uh, like, I'm getting pretty much the same response from the women. Like, every time I try to, like, okay, I'll get their number. Then I, like, you know what I'm saying, like, text them or call them or something. Mm -hmm. And usually they'll, like, they'll make it seem like, okay, yeah, yeah, we can do something. But then they always, like, don't want to do nothing. Yeah. You know? Well, that, well, so, well, that's the thing, man, is, look. Again, it's this shit is always a numbers game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, yeah. it's you know the thing is, is that you know so so you say you be go talking to these girls, you get their number, and then they just sort of like fall off. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Mm. And so and, uh, and so, are you trying to like hook up with them, go on a date? Like, what you trying to do? I'm trying to hook up with them, but most of the time, like, I, I somewhat in some type of way let them know that. I mean, I just want to hook up with them. Mm -hmm. Like, I may just tell them to come to the house. And, you know, a lot of times they'll be like, okay. You know what I'm saying? They'll say, all right. You know, someone will be like, okay. Mm -hmm. But then it comes time for them to come to my house. And then it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Just this, this and that, uh, I can't. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, see that. See, this is why. Again, it's it's part of the game. That's what I'm saying. Everything is still all a numbers game. This is why, because you're gonna have those girls who are gonna seem like they're gonna come through. They not. You're gonna have girls who, off the bat, you're gonna you gonna get their number. They they not gonna respond to your call. All of that shit is part of the game. So the thing is, you saying you talk to like five girls in the day and then ten girls at night and all that other shit. You gotta sometimes yeah. double and triple that. You feel what I'm saying? So double. Okay, so just more numbers. Right. That's all it is. That's literally all it is. See this because okay. this is the thing I always tell guys. You don't have to even learn none of this shit. You understand? But understand, if you don't learn none of it, it's going to be more of a numbers game. You feel what I'm saying? So you're going to have to talk to 100 girls to get one. If you learn this shit, you're going to talk to 100 girls and probably get 20 or 30. You feel what I'm saying? But it's just the, it's just part of the game. So it's like you okay. you, you got to understand that, you know, like, like for example, like even um I showed my, 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 um, my fucking, uh, what you call it? My Tinder the other day on my on the last live stream and I had like almost twelve hundred matches on Tinder. You feel what I'm saying? Even with that, I'm not meeting twelve hundred chicks. You feel what I'm saying? It's still a numbers game even with that. Like it all's it's like you know it's like a it's a sales funnel. It's just like when you when you, when you doing a, a, a when you doing business. Like for example, like you know I might for example I might get a hundred people to come to my website. You feel what I'm saying? And and they'll and they'll opt into my mailing list. Then out of those hundred, you feel what I'm saying? Maybe like twenty people out of those hundred might um, you know, like buy something. You feel what I'm saying? But it's just yeah. it's just a, it's just the same it's the same thing with dealing with chicks. It's the same shit. You understand? You meet the girls, some of them are gonna get the numbers, some of those numbers are gonna turn into dates, some of those dates will turn into sex. That's it. You know what I mean? That's all it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay, man. yeah, because but yeah, I feel that. I feel what you're saying. Like, mm. It's just like at a certain point, you know what I mean? You get so many rejections. Mm. You feel like like you kind of make because I've been kind of like, man, is it a is it a numbers game or? Is it, yeah, I'm that's what that's numbers. that's what. See, like, that, no matter how good you are, it's always gonna be that because you gotta understand something. When you fucking with chicks, though, chicks are. Oh my God, they're just so all over the place. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. one, first of all, you are gonna run into girls who who um, are not, they, you're not their type. You're going to run into girls who have boyfriends. You're going to run into girls who are lesbians. You feel what I'm saying? Like, dude, I've, I've met some of the finest lesbians out there. It's ridiculous, bro. Like, you wouldn't even think there was lesbians. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, there's one chick, I remember, I was at some spot, baddest chick in the spot. I'm talking to her. I was like, yo, you know, we should hang out, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, you know, I can't because she's like, I'm, I'm actually into women. And, like, she was showing me pictures of her and her girlfriend. And I'm like, fuck. I'm like, this, she, you would have never thought. So there's always all of these fucking variables that is going to get in the way, which is why it, it has to be a numbers game. You see what I'm saying? That's all it is. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, 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 I feel
Yeah, good. And uh, I just I just have one more question before mm. I got off here, just real quick. I'd be curious about something. Because mm. I got a couple of chicks that, you know what I mean, they'll bite at my bait or whatever, you know, mm. so to speak. Like, they'll, I'll get their number, but they and they always, hit, they'll hit me up first, you know mm. what I'm saying? They'll text me and say, oh, you know, you know, uh, sorry we haven't got together, blah, 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 mm. you know. They, they showing some class, some sort of interest. Right. You know, and, uh, but it's almost like a team. Cause then when I'm like, oh, okay, uh, blah, 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 all of a sudden they over here, they somewhere else. Right. So all, so of, a, like, all of a sudden it's like they, they can't like, make it and all that shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, they'll, they'll be like, you know, making it seem like they fuck with me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then when it's time to like, you know what I mean? Hey, you know, blah, blah, blah. They don't want to do it. Then a couple weeks, months later, they'll, hey, hey, what's going on here? Uh, Blah blah blah. Uh, sorry, blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up with these chicks? Like, what's, what's right. Well, on? again, those 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 are the attention whores, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. So they, okay. Because okay. This, and this is what I was talking about for the, early in the show, is that see you got to get to the point where um, when you meet girls, and this is why this is why uh, you know I, I've, I've talked about like when you meet chicks, you have to test them quickly. To see what they're about, you feel what I'm saying, and and okay. then and then you also have to charge them quickly. So, for example, what I mean is, if you meet a chick, right, you want to see as quickly as possible how sexually interested she is in in you know in you. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. And that that can go from like you know you meet a girl at a bar, you start flirting with her there, you start to like even try to kiss her there, try to take her home. You want to do it quick to see how sexually interested she is in you, and. If she's not really that sexually interested in you, you just keep the shit pushing. And sometimes, even those girls are saying that you they, you would try to holler at them, and then later on they holler at you. But then when you try to make something happen, they'd be like, "Oh, I'm busy" or whatever, and all that other shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to get to the point where, let's say you meet a girl off an online dating site, or you went out with a chick once or whatever. You got to get to the point where the first time they sort of. Uh, Say some bullshit. Like, let's say you, you, you know, you, you were supposed to meet a girl, and then she's like, "Oh, I'm busy." As soon as she says she's busy, charge her ass like she's done. You understand what I'm saying? And and to the point where even if she hits you back, even if she hits you back like a few weeks later, don't indulge in that. Like she's done. You feel what I'm saying? You got to get to that point. You feel what I mean? Like when you first first meet, because this is the thing. You know when they talk about first impressions, right? Like your first impression is supposed to be like the, the your best impression. You feel what I'm saying? Like just like when you start a job for the first week or so, you're like on point. You're working. You're doing what you got to do because you, this is like the first impression. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. if a girl's first impression is to flake or to give you the runaround, that means she is not really that interested in you because this is the first impression she's giving you. So this is why you're gonna have to just charge them. You feel what I'm saying? Now, yeah. now, once it gets to you know to another point where let's say you've been sort of seeing a girl for a, a little while, y'all been hooking up, but then she starts to sort of fall off, she starts to flake a little bit. With her, you don't gotta charge her all the way. You could just demote her. You could say, okay, since she's acting all funny, I'm gonna just hit her up, you know, whenever I ain't got shit to do, and I'm gonna just smash it and just keep it moving like that. I'm not gonna take her too seriously. But the thing is, you know, you have to understand that when a chick is on that bullshit from the beginning, that's not a good sign. You just got to charge to the game. Don't even waste any more time waiting for her to get back to you and then trying to make something happen again. It's like, nah, we, you be good. You understand what I'm saying? We good. Because I, I do that now. If I if I am talking to a girl online and I'm, I match with her on Tinder or some shit and we supposed to meet up and she she flakes, she's I'm done. You feel what I'm saying? It's, it's a wrap. Okay. You feel know what I mean? So you got to start being more harsh to these chicks at the beginning. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's gonna that. that's gonna build you up for later. You see what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. Uh, I, yeah, man. I mm-hmm. appreciate all the game, man. I'm on the uh, Bad Boy Show. That's I mean, what's I got up. A lot of your products and everything. And appreciate I'm it, man. Being a fan, man. I just appreciate everything you do, man. That's what's up. Appreciate it, bro. I'm holler at you. All right. All right. Peace. peace. All right. So what's good? That's good. We getting a lot of calls in today. That's that's what's up. That's what's up. I appreciate that, man. So the call the number 646-481-3901.
Right, let me see who this is. Yo, what's going on? Hey. What's Bobby? Who's this? This is my name. My name is Glenn. What's going on, bro? Oh, uh, what's up? Um, I got a question. I had, like, I've been, like, I've seen this girl, right? But um, the first times I've seen her a few times, I never, like, approached her. Mm-hmm. And, like, finally, like, after that, I've seen her again and I approached her. But I'm the question I'm asking is, like, the way I approached her, I felt like I did it wrong, like, because I asked her, like, was she single? And I asked her, did she have a boyfriend? She told me um, that she actually do. Mm-hmm. And then I, and then, um, I, and then she shake my hand. And then she was like, okay, nice to meet you. And then I walked off, like, but I really like her, so I still want to, like, get at her. Like, is it a good thing? If I see her again, should I approach her again or not? Why Why you still want to get at her? That's because I like her, like. But she got a boyfriend, though. She got a boyfriend, though, right? Yeah, that's what she told me. Right. So, so how you gonna how you gonna get her if she got a boyfriend? Or why do you want to why do you want to be with her if she already has a boyfriend? It's like the attraction thing. Like I'm like really attracted to her. Like in that way, I ain't like trying to thirst over and nothing like that. Wait, wait. How how old are you? I just turned twenty four. Twenty four. Okay. Because he is acting in the chat room. They say you sound like you're sixteen or something. But um, but it's the thing. This is the thing, man. You know, there's gonna be other girls, man. There's there's other girls out there, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, why you why are you so hung up on this girl? Um, it was, it's just like a, that's how I was. Like, so you don't think I should talk, try to talk to her no more? Nah, I don't talk to her no more. Talk to other girls. Try to get with other women. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, give up on this chick. It's over. You feel what I'm saying? Because because what you're doing, this is what this is what you're doing. You're you're putting her on a pedestal. You're making her, um, you know, uh, more important than than she needs to be in the situation. You see what I'm saying? There's other right. girls that you could get with, but you're stuck on this girl. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta talk to other women. You have to interact with other girls. You feel what I'm saying? Don't if if you talking to a girl and she says she has a boyfriend, s- stop talking to her and talk to other women. You feel what I'm saying? So I have another one more question. Like, mm-hmm. as an approach, do you think I should stop asking a girl if she's single when I approach her or not? Um, well, I mean, it, it, you don't really necessarily need to ask her if she's single. You feel what I'm saying? Because the thing is, so you think I, so you think I should leave that part out? Yeah, you don't like, need to ask if she's I, single. You, it, the thing is, if she wants to, if she wants to get with you, she's gonna get with you. You feel what I'm saying? And most of the time, if a woman has a boyfriend, she'll she'll already let you know if she that she has a boyfriend, which is a good thing because sometimes a girl, a woman might have a boyfriend and still, if she likes you, she'll still try to get with you. But you don't want to really deal with a girl with a boyfriend because if a boyfriend's you know uh, a simp and he's like crazy, you don't want to have to deal with that. But all you got to do is when you talk to the girls, just let them know. Look, you know, hey, you know, I came over here. I thought you was cute. What's your name? My name is this. So and so. Let me get your number. Whatever. Let's, you know, here's my number. And so if she's interested, she'll exchange numbers with you. If she's not interested, she'll be like, oh, I got a boyfriend. Oh, you know, I'm not really trying to, you know what I'm saying? She'll just let you know. You see what I mean? So you just got to let her know what you're trying to do and then just do that. All right? All right. All right, bro. Thank you. All right, man. I'm out of you. Peace. Yeah, man. Don't You guys got to stop, like, <laughs> obsessing. <laughs> Y'all be hearing that a lot. Dudes be obsessing over these chicks that already got boyfriends. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh man. Hold on my my wife up here texting me, hold on. That's perfect. Alright, cool. Yeah man. Shit is crazy. So yeah, so the call number six four six four eight one three nine zero one. Man. So what's popping in the chat, bro? He said drop another another book on Audible. <laughs> I got I, damn, I got like I got like three new books. I got three books I'm working on right now. I got three books where I'm working on right now. Yo, what's popping? Who's this? We meet again, you fat fuck. You see how these these goofy niggas? Anyway. 
Hold on, where's the um Where's the shit at? Yo, what's poppin'? Who's this? Yeah, I can hear you a little bit. Speak up a little bit, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, you hear me better now? Yeah, I can hear you. What's going on with you? I'm chilling, chilling, man. Yeah, I've got a couple questions for you, man. Mm -hmm. I remember you and KZ been telling me the thing, so I've been listening to KZ, too. Tell him I say what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, shout out to KZ. I can hear the chat. What's popping with you, bro? Yeah. Nah, because the thing is that I've been going a couple of days, so I be flirting heavy. So mm -hmm. I cut that going for multiple dates and shit like that. Can't die with like, stop doing that three, four, five bullshit ass thing. Because mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, so I be falling for that. I gotta get to the you I'm like, fuck it. Maybe I gotta, I ain't gonna lie to people to like nine, ten. I'd be like, you know what? I, maybe I gotta go to three, four, five dates. So mm -hmm. I, I've been going a couple of days with a couple of women, so I just been cutting them off. So like I said, I put the first, I put the first date with kids. Then it's time when I'm like, hey, I'm just trying to hook up, so what's up? And I'm mm -hmm. to my spot, yes, bye. They be hitting me, they tell me I gotta get to know you. I'm like, fuck. So I told my man down before, he was like, yo, stop doing that. Mm. You give me that thirst energy. So you think I should stop doing that? Stop, do stop, do stop doing what? What do you say that again? Nah, stop going as far as going, as far as telling a chick on the second time. Mm. Come over my spot, or should I just go out the second time? No, 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 bro. Listen, on the second, yeah, you're you're doing it right. On the second time. Tell her to come to to your crib, or you go to her crib. You feel what I'm saying? Because you know, been getting a lot of cut off, though, man. What happened? But the thing is that, yeah, but they've been cutting me off. The place that's no, that I, that's I, good. Yeah. They 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 should cut you off because this is what I'm this is what I'm saying. Though most of those girls, ninety percent of those girls, if you went on a second and third date, you still wouldn't have got no pussy from them. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. See that the reason why you tell them on the second time, right? That yo, let's let me come to your house, or I'm gonna come to your house, or whatever, is because you're looking for the women who are sexually interested in you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So those girls who was like who's cutting you off, they're not sexually interested in you. You see what I'm saying? Or or what it is is that they're looking at you as see this is what you gotta say. And I was talking about this with the other caller. Women are gonna see you as as either one or two guys. The alpha they wanna fuck. Or the beta, they want to make weight and fucking do all that other extra shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, what yeah, you're looking for... On the first date, though. How's that, though? I mean, we kissing. How's that not even in sex, though? I, I understand, like I said, if you was about to kiss me, then I would cut him off. I'm like, damn. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, you was just, the first date. I mean, we were kissing. I'm feeling like a titties. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the hell you want to see me? I'm like, what the hell you don't feel comfortable? I'm like... One chick told me she got to feel more comfortable. I'm like, you was in my car kissing me. Mm -hmm. I can literally suck out her nipples everything. I'm like, what the fuck? Right, but that's what that's what I'm saying because she's probably looking at you and saying, "Oh, I really like this guy. He 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 seems like um the the boy like I could he could be my boyfriend or some shit." You see what I'm saying? But what but what you got what you got to understand is is that cuz this is what happens, right? And and shout out to Kay Zag, he's like kissing means nothing. That's true. A chick will kiss whoever. Um what what you got to understand is this. This is what happens a lot of times with women. Women they'll They'll fuck the guy that they that they think or they feel isn't worth more than just fucking. You understand? But that's because of how he's presenting himself and and also the type of guy she likes. You see what I'm saying? There's but uh, but what happens is they'll deal with guys who they say, well, you know, even if I don't fuck him now, um, I could probably fuck him later. I'll just wait till later because I, I like him and I want I may I might want more from this guy, right? And so what happens is that she may think that way about you. And then when you call her up and say, hey, come over my crib, let's let's hook up. Right. She's upset because she thought she could have had the different type of relationship, that boyfriend type of relationship with you. So that's why she cuts you off. You see what I'm saying? So but what, but what I'm saying is that you're looking for the women who are actually sexually interested in you to where they're looking at you like, well, I want to have sex with this guy from the jump or they're looking at you as, well, I'm interested in him sexually and I know he's not going to, um, you know, uh, want to be on some boyfriend shit with me. You feel what I'm saying? So, so the thing is, is that you just got to find the girls who are going to see you as that sexual guy and that wants to fuck with you. Understand, don't, don't be discouraged by the chicks cutting you off. You understand what I'm saying? That's supposed to happen. You see what I mean? Yeah. The ones who are going to want it. Because, for example, 
Um, I remember this was like, um, shit. I remember there was this one weekend or, or one week where I went on six dates with these chicks in one week. Six dates, right? And so on 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 the second time, I called all six of them or I texted all six of them, and I was like, "Yo, what's good? When you free, I'm, I'm you know I'm gonna come to your crib or whatever, right?" Four of those chicks was not feeling it, but two of them I fucked on the second time I seen them. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is, there's gonna be some chicks who aren't gonna go down for it, but what it is is that you're not wasting more time going on dates, spending money, doing all this other shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what it is. But another, another thing, too, the fact that, too, I'm meeting a woman online, do you think, I, can I give him the benefit of the doubt as far as you going on a date? Like, if I'm out in public and I meet a chick in a bar, mm. I'd just be like, hey, what are you doing later on? Mm. Well, the next time we meet, come over my house. But because it's online, a chick may say, hey, um, I don't know you like that. Mm. You with me first. Do you think it's okay to, because I'm you told me that, too, never let the woman lead. It's not letting a woman lead if you, if, 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 if if you don't cut them off by them saying, oh, keep with me first. I don't mind just being the first. You mm. know, I understand the fact that we all meet online, they, they do got some crazy people out here. So do you mm. think I should cut them off and, and then I follow my people not Well, this is the thing. This is the thing. If you if you meet them online, if you if you match with a girl on Tinder or whatever, um, and let's say yeah. you don't want to like necessarily go out with the girl and, and you just want to hook up with her, what you need to do is is that you get you know, exchange numbers and then go do FaceTime. You understand? So FaceTime her for about 20 minutes. And then while y'all talking, you be like, yo, you seem cool. Just come over to the crib. You feel what I'm saying? Because now she's gotten to like fill you out. You feel what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But but also, if you don't want to do that, you at least go on one, you know, drink date. You understand what I'm saying? Just to meet them out in person. And then, at, and that's the only date you go on. After that, you just straight to fuck it. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, all right, yeah. Thing you said though, when you um, when the actually question, you was like, I think the guy was talking to a girl from Brooklyn. I don't know if you mm. What happened, guy? You still there? Yeah, Yo. I come from Brooklyn. You said that you should never do that. A chick though, like I'm talking to a chick. I met on a tender. She lived in uh, in in Austin, but I'm letting like, her know that when I come out there, we fucking. Mm. You think I, I'm gonna want? Think you that no. Don't go out your way. But I'm not just going out my way. I mean, like I said, I don't care about the distance. As long as I know that when I go out there, mm. there's going to be some guaranteed stuff. Do you think I, I mm. should have? I forgot which of my video, though. Oh, talking you talking about, about, you talking about when I was talking about not going out of your way to, to, to meet up with the chick and all that other shit? Yeah. But right. I'm not going out of your way if, if, if you're feeling a chick on me, but that's something you want to do. Like, you don't mind doing that, though. I mean, this is the thing. I wouldn't go all, all out of my way to, to meet no chick, uh, Period. But if let's say if it's a girl, um, you know, you went out with her or whatever, and then you she's like, hey, you know, I want to. If she's actually trying to do some shit, you feel what I'm saying, and you know she's she's really trying to make it happen. And if you don't care about going that distance, then do what you got to do. I don't. I rather have her come to me. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So you know, cause like, cause you said she's in what Albany. Yeah. And you well, live in like an and, and where you live. Uh, I'm in CT, but the drive is like one straight shoe. It's like, and I drive fast. I don't mind. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, <laughs> How long it take you to get there? <laughs> About an hour, what, hour and 30 minutes. Damn, y'all niggas, is, is, I'll be on some other shit. But I mean, hey, if, if she if she down and you want to make nah, it happen, but, do yo, it. Yo, let me tell you, real talk, it's like the words out of fun, you're doing some little bullshit, though. I met one from Bean Town, though. I saw it, yeah, I went out there, it was like oh, about two hours. Like, mm. that shit, it was probably like, what, six months ago. She was down. Mm. And she was on QD2, she was K-Birdie, and that's what I'm trying to say. It's like a far one. It wouldn't be like, I don't want you to say, mm. let me down and have fun. I mean, I got no kids, I don't care, that's what I'm saying. Right, well, this this is the thing, man. Like, like my dude Everett Overton in the chat said, shout out to Everett Overton. He said, he said all dates should be scheduled five minutes from the crib, no further. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> nah, yo, but the thing is, yeah, it's true, but sometimes it's five minutes to do some bullshit. Right. Oh, bro, you like that? You feel me? It's like, yeah, it's five well, if they saying all that, I don't know you like that, Charles. They asked the game, but I'm telling you, y'all niggas is gonna be fucking with me. Yeah, well, if they saying all that, I don't know you like that, Charles. They asked the game, but I'm telling you, yo, this is what y'all guys gotta understand, man. The, the 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 road to you getting what you want from women starts with you. This is what I was saying at the beginning of the video, where you have to be that high value dude, and you have to be willing to tell a chick, "Fuck out of here, peace out. You could go. 
You can't be scared to lose pussy because when you're scared to lose pussy, that's what makes it harder for you to get pussy because the girls could tell you're scared to lose it. You feel what I'm saying? They could feel that. They could see that shit. See, when you're not scared to lose it, that makes you more attractive to women because uh -huh, uh -huh. it makes it makes them see that they don't have a hold on you. You feel what I'm saying? You're the one yeah, who see yeah, you yeah. see what I'm saying? So fuck yeah, that. Let them man. chicks let them chicks bounce. Let them chicks not see you on a second date. You feel what I'm saying? Because what it what it does is it all it does is save you time. It shows you, okay, well, I'm I'm talking to four girls. Now I'm talking to three girls. So I don't gotta think about that fourth girl. She's charged, she's done. You feel what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna replace her with another chick. You feel what I'm saying? That's it. Okay. And that's all you got to do. And so so, so that's what I'm saying where, you know, keep going through it and you're going to find the girls who are going to want to fuck with you on that second date like that. You feel what I'm okay. saying? That's all, all right. it is. All right. All right, bro. Definitely, definitely. Definitely. I appreciate that information too, fam. All right, man. I'm going to holler at you, bro. Ease. Yeah, one. Yeah, man. Don't be scared of these chicks, bro. I'm telling y'all. It's not about getting every girl. You feel what I'm saying? Some girl's gonna have to get charged. Some girl's gonna be on some bullshit. So you gotta keep that shit pushing. Yo, what's popping? Hey, it's me. What's going on? Who this? It's me, Dulo. You know Dulo. D U M O. Dulo, come on. I don't on. know you no Dulo, bro. <laughs> Remember, I spoke to you last week about joining my cell phone family clan. Oh my goodness, these niggas. All right, so let me get another call. Yo, what's going on? Good evening. This is Bobby calling from Atlanta. Oh, my God. Why am I getting all the trolls now? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I beg your pardon. I'm anything but a troll. I'm a fan. I'm a fan and appreciator of your knowledge and logic. So what's going on with you, bro? I'm living life. I see that summertime is here. I'm loving your circa 2008 Joe Button, Dem and Dad. <laughs> oh, anyway, man. All things aside... Lucario, have you been following this lopsided titty bitch Alicia running her mouth again? Alicia Curry? Nah, what happened? Yeah, apparently this bitch needs, Seth needs to get her a fucking diamond muscle because she's been running her mouth again, Lucario. What's she talking about? <laughs> she said she got depression now? Yeah, bitch, wipe your goddamn tears with a silk tissue. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Seth needs to get that bitch a muscle. She's out of line, Lucario. Same with Lucario. Enough about me. Like, I dust it myself, and I keep it, I'll keep it in the of Lucario, so I'm good. But I have a question for you. Uh -huh. I have a Portland friend. I have a, uh, you know, he's a relatively a beast friend. He enjoys Japanese animation and Marvel comic book fetish. And he lives in the horn of Top of Las Vegas. And he's pretty much given up on himself and the thought of ever having a woman. Do you have any advice for me that I can relate to him, Lucario? Tell him to, to, to step up his game, bro. You feel me? <laughs> it's not a... <laughs> I had to get this dude go. Yo, what's going on, bro? Yo, Lucario, what's good? It's AFCA. What's poppin'? Yo, I'm sorry, man. This is an everything you need. Damn, you, you sound like you in a, a thunderstorm. I can't hear shit. What shit you saying? What's Yo, going can on? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you a little bit. You sound like you in a thunderstorm. What's going on? It's windy outside, man. I'm outside. <laughs> you all right? But, but yo, I, I just had a question real quick. Um, you know, listening to everything that everybody's been saying, who's been calling in with their issues and stuff, and, and what you've been saying. Mm. Yo, do, do bitches ever, like, apologize for their fuckery? Like, for real? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it depends. It depends. Some of them do. Some of them, you know. Most of them won't, though. You understand what I'm saying? Most of them won't yeah, because that's... women, women, most women don't like to admit when they're wrong. You feel what I'm saying? They don't like to admit okay. that shit. You feel me? So... You, you know, most of the time you ain't gonna um you ain't gonna get that. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. It's just something that popped up in my head real quick, you know, because I I know we pretty much all been played on, you know, I've been done dirty back in my super sense days and shit. And I was just like, damn, I ain't even getting no oh I'm sorry. I got like a bitch apology, which is like mm. I'm sorry, but I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what I mean. Look, man, don't be looking too 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 hard for apologies from women, man. You understand what I'm saying? Just just you know, just keep the shit pushing, bro. Just just do what you trying to do with a chick. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's all I want to get across, man. I get off your line. All right, bro. I'm out with you, man. All right. All right. Peace. All right. Let me take one more call. Let me take one more call. I got so many people freaking texting me. It's crazy. Um, man. 
Man, man, man. So what is popping? Yo, I got I got to figure out um how to do that those Google Hangout shits. Cuz I want to get one where it's me, EO, K Zagan, you feel what I'm saying? Get some flash shit popping. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Yo, what's up, Mr. Cario? How's it going? What's popping? Who's I'm this? I'm pretty good on that album. That's <laughs> me, Roger. I think I spoke to you quiet a few times. All right. The Bad Boys, mem- the Bad Boys Membership Program. Huh? Let's mm-hmm. just say you turn my life around, especially when it comes to how these women work, bro. Learned a lot of shit. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, bro. So what's, what's going on with you uh, right now? Oh. Uh, I know you. I know it's already been like two, three days. You know since you spoke to about the. Uh, oh damn! This dude just cut his cut the phone off and shit. God damn! He he's like he's about to get in some good shit. That's fucked up. <laughs> shit. Well, call back if you uh you know. Call back. Let me see. Maybe that's him calling back. Yo. I think I lost you. Yeah, yeah, the phone cut off. What, what, what are you saying? Go ahead. <laughs> My ass just getting off work, bro. <laughs> so where I work at, the phone system. Oh, that's what's up. So what's going on, though? But, yeah, I know it's been a few days, bro, but since you posted a, uh, a video about the ice curry issue. Mm. The thing is, bro, uh, I had into, I got into a, a very heated uh, a very heated debate with, uh, with, uh, uh, with, uh, my, uh, with a friend of mine the other day mm. and my sister agreed with her but see the thing is my friend of mine she's uh she works at a club though she's kind of alpha she's kind of alpha male female though mm. like dudes come at her ass all the time and shit so so she had a lot of experience with dudes so. and uh what she basically saying is it's natural for women to want some attention so i mean like mm. ain't nothing really wrong with uh ain't nothing really, really wrong with a with your woman or your spouse or mm. significant other wants some attention from a dude like that shit naturally is gonna happen. Mm. But you know, my case on the issue is like, uh, see, if Steph Curry would have came out with that type of shit, you know, that would have been World War fucking three or some shit. Mm. So like, you know, like it's I understand for a woman like is what she basically saying was the but what she basically told me was she understand that is different for a man, mm. but at the same damn time, men gotta understand women are like. Women are kind of like a uh, women are kind of like a uh, robots. Mm. So they are a very completely different breed mm. than how men work. Right. So I mean, that's what she was basically trying to tell me. Shit, and my sister agree with the shit. Mm. So in a way, I'm kind of so in a way I've been asking around. I've been asking a lot of motherfuckers. I'm glad you called too. Mm. Is it? I mean, my question is, I mean, should we really get used to women acting like they are a very different breed? That mm. you know, I understand we look at shit from a logical mm. perspective. Right. But. But if one, but I guess why uh, my, oh, the best way to describe it is if women think uh, or if they feel two plus two is fish, <laughs> should we just accept that shit and just roll that shit? I mean, because women are a completely different breed. Yeah, you well, understand what I'm asking? well, that's the thing though. You got to understand that, man. Like, look, man, women, women, you know, that's that's I think what most guys have to come to terms with is that women are not uh, like us. You understand what I mean? There's stuff that they are like us, but there's stuff that's different. You understand what I'm saying? When it comes to dealing with women. And so if we're trying to understand women through our logical male brain, it's not going to work. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's a, it's a whole different thing. And so like they were saying with the whole thing with Aisha Curry, that it's true about most women is that they love attention. You feel what I'm saying? It's just is just, you know, in them. You feel what I mean? That's just naturally how they are. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And well, so, the thing, well, now go well, ahead. the thing is, Ms. Lucario, uh, mm-hmm. sorry to cut you off. Now go ahead. The thing is, Ms. Lucario, uh, see, uh, lately that shit been, ha- lately that shit been having me really, really thinking because one thing is a very, very hard pillow to swallow. Mm. It's a harsh reality that we all got to face, man. I'm still trying to mm. accept this shit slowly. Is that if a woman likes, if your significant other mm. or a woman you married to or some mm. shit, or your down girl, mm. if she likes attention from other dudes, I mean, what honestly can you do about that shit? There's nothing you can really do about that shit. Right. So, <laughs> I mean, that's the harsh reality motherfuckers got to face. I was married once. Mm. And mm. like, uh, like, long story short, you know, this shit didn't work out. But mm. nevertheless, you have guys out there that like, that's going to be like, this is my bitch. Don't, no dude don't even look my way. Right, right. But if she fucking with another dude, or she likes attention from another dude, what can you really do about that shit? You can check the other dude. She's, I mean, 
hey, before you can check your girls, mm. ideally I suggest you check your girl. Mm. But she likes the other attention. And right. that, I mean, shit, that's the harsh reality I'm trying to face right now, though. And but that's see why that, I'm trying to see, and see, that's where, that's where all the suffering comes, that's where all the frustration and suffering comes from in a game is when you're trying to control nature and what naturally occurs. You understand what I'm saying? It's, you know, it's it's the thing where you can see, that's the, that's the part that people have a hard time accepting is that you can't control none of that shit. And so, the, and, and, and it's the funny part is the more you try, the worse it gets. You see what I'm saying? Because the thing is, is that it's like trying to, it's like, it's like trying to control when the sun comes up or when it rains, you can't do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Like women are going to want the attention regardless. You see what I'm saying? Now, whether or not she actually acts on that attention, that's a different story. You see what I mean? So even with the Aisha Curry thing, it's like, yeah, she, she may want guys to, to check her out and flirt with her or whatever, but if she acts on it, then that's a different story. But the funny part is, is that the acting on it um, usually occurs because, like I was saying in my video, is the attention needs to be one-upped. Because once you get used to a certain level of attention, you want another level of attention. So your girl might be like, oh, I just like when guys check me out. Then she's going to you know, get used to that. Then she's going to want guys to approach her and talk to her. Then she's going to get used to that. Then she's going to want guys to flirt with her. And, and You see what I'm saying? That's that's where it, yeah. it, it goes. So there's really wow. there's really nothing. And, and see, uh, us men, our problem and our issue is that we've we've uh, it's like this. We've been taught the wrong shit, and so we're trying to we're trying to learn how to how to navigate relationships with women. But we've been we've been conditioned with the wrong shit. We've been conditioned to think that the chick is yours. Like you say, oh, this is my girl. So I don't want no, you see what I'm saying? Or right. we've been conditioned to think that, you know, that women, um, and, and it, it is a society's fault also. We, they've been, they tricked us to think that women only want like, oh, they want a marriage and they want just this one guy to be with forever. And they're, right. they want to be in love with it. No, it's, it's a bunch of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Women only, and this is what you got to understand. Women only want you to the extent that it serves them, their purpose. You understand what I'm saying? And so their purpose is, I want this guy to, this guy right here to uh, 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 take care of me, you know, fucking su support me, uh, secure, you know, have, you know, have, have him there to, to make me feel secure, all this other shit, right? This is why a woman will marry a guy she's not that sexually attracted to. You see what I'm saying? And, and so... The, uh, the chick she's using him for those things and this is why sometimes even women will end up cheating on a man because she's not really into him in the first place she just married him for the actual you know thing and this is why when a woman isn't married or a woman isn't in a long-term relationship she could go out here fucking and sucking like crazy because it's her in her nature to want all this attention so all that attention is you know most of the attention is going to turn into fucking and sucking you know what I'm saying? But I mean, when Aisha Curry came out and said that shit, mm. that's pretty much saying, I want to fuck other dudes. Exactly. If I don't fuck other dudes, that, there's something wrong with me. That's pretty much what she was saying the other day. That's exactly. You know I mean? That's what it is. That's what it is. That's but exactly I mean, like, what she wants to do. <laughs> I see what you're saying. It is a woman's nature, mm -hmm. you know, to do all that shit, though. But, it, but how can you really accept that being a woman's nature when... Let's say you get into a very good, a great, a healthy, long-term relationship. And then that natural, that natural instinct to want attention from other men comes up. Mm. It just takes that one little thing to fuck up a great, healthy relationship mm. or a great, healthy marriage. That one fucking thing to want a net, to want to fuck up a natural, uh, you understand what I'm saying though? Right, right. No, I feel what you're saying. So, no, I feel what you're saying. But see that, and that, and see that's the, that's the hard part about it because, you know, the thing is, again, and, and this is what's so fucked up about relationships and just, you know, talk like these talking about these things in general, is that what this is what's this is what happened with society. We've we've put social constructs on nature. So what that means is because we, when we talk about monogamy, monogamy is actually a fairly new concept. You understand what I'm saying? Before, like, monogamy is only, what, like, 5,000-something years old, if I'm not mistaken? So right. before all of that, it was it was all just like, yo, I'm out. It was just like, basically, uh, you know, polyamory. Basically, just everything was just open. You feel what I'm saying? It wasn't no, like, 
oh, I'm just with this woman and you're just, no, it was, everything was just open. So what happens is, is that naturally shit was open and then we created something on top of the shit. So this is why we're so confused. So what happens is, is that a man, he's like, I'm with this woman. I've been conditioned to think that she's only going to want my attention. And the, the, the reason why I think she only wants my attention is because women have been promoted as being these, 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 uh, beings that only want one guy and only, and they all right. want commit. Cause you hear this shit all the time. Oh, I just want, you know, I want something real. I don't want to, I don't just want to hook up. I want to find somebody special. This is what they say. You see what I'm saying? Because they're also conditioned to think that, but their natural na the nature don't give a fuck about what we thinking. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And we just, we just doing what we like do. The Me Too movement. Right. right exactly. Me too. We just doing what we do. And so, that's the thing is that women are just doing what what they this is why you you ever notice like for example where you'll say damn how come women always fuck with the bad boys and you know the jerks and assholes cuz logically it's like this other guy right here is better for you but it's in their nature to be attracted to a certain behavior in men you see what i'm saying even though it don't make sense even though it it seems fucked up sometimes it's just their nature you see what i'm saying it's just it's just like our nature we have a, a certain nature you know, as men, that we do certain things. It's just, for example, this is like if a woman was asking both both of us, hey, why do you guys always got to fucking, you know, look at a girl's ass all the time? And how come when you walk down the street, you can't just, you know, pay attention and look forward? You always got to turn and look at, you understand what I'm saying? Or it's like a woman say, how come you guys want to fuck all these women? Why can't you just stick, you understand? It's in our nature right. to want to do that. You see what I'm saying? Right. And so that's the same thing like for that. women. You know what I mean? Like, it's in our nature. It's in their nature to be the way they are. Period. Oh wow! You see what well, I'm saying? Damn. That shit, wow. That shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, wow. Well, I know you got other callers, Mr. Lucario, mm. man. I just got one more question to ask you. Yeah, yeah. Go you, ahead. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, you go. Ahead. Okay, for the callers. I just got a, uh, and I, I didn't mean to be off topic and all that though. Just getting with no question. Just want your uh, opinion about a situation I got on with this, with uh, <laughs> with my ex. I know you say uh. You know, don't fuck with exes and shit like that, though. Mm. But uh, I still got, like, pictures and shit of her and some shit. Should mm. I just, like, delete the pictures and shit? Because I decided, you know, just charge her as soon as we broke up and shit. Mm. But, like, the pictures and shit still there. So you say you got, so you say you got still, like, pictures of uh, her and your phone and all that other shit? Yeah, so I'm thinking, should I just delete this shit? Because I figured, fuck it, this shit is done, this shit is over with. Mm. And, I mean, I, I, and what, how long How long out been, like, when did I break up? How long has is, is it been? We broke up about seven months ago. Like four months ago. Okay, so but. yeah, so <laughs> yeah, that's 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 some that's some new shit, man. So what what it is is look, man. Um, see, you could keep a picture just on some like, you know, like just having it because that's you know a part of your like history or whatever. Because you know, like right. you know, t five years from now, you might want to look back on shit like, oh yeah, I remember so and so. This is her. This is this person. Whatever. But I would say, yeah, if you got all those, I would say. Save one of the pictures, take and then delete everything off your phone, and just have that shit on like a hard drive or something, just in case you want to just reminisce ten years from now or some shit. You feel what I'm saying? But as of right now, yeah, get that shit off your your phone. You feel what I'm saying? Because you're gonna you're gonna keep looking back at her. You're gonna keep you know what I'm saying. You don't want it in your in your vision. You, you see what I mean? Yeah, I got you. Because you're gonna right, get over that shit. Lot. All right, bro. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, thanks a lot, Mister Bogart. Right. Just, I mean, I guess you're right though. You know, it is in a fucking woman's natural instinct i can ain't no fighting that shit right that's that what i'm saying just bro you just gotta you just gotta figure out what you want to do with them and, and then and then call it a day you know what i'm saying that's it hell yeah that's it bro okay. well thanks a lot Mr. Carl. all right man I'm out go, bro. i appreciate what you're doing bro appreciate you man peace all right, all right people it is about that time a brother gotta what? head out and you know get some other shit going but yo i appreciate everybody tuning in remember the Bad Boy Membership Sale is still on. So from now to May 31st, when you join the Bad Boy Membership, you get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, audiobook for free, 60-second game book for free, and the Bad Boy book for free. So you're getting all of that stuff for free. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you guys join the Bad Boy Membership. Um, also, check out How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, hard copy, also ebook. Make sure you check all of that stuff out. Um, let me shout out to all the people in the chat. My dude, VRO19, what up? Exactly, they got 14 days left to get all that, man. I'm telling you, you guys got to get on that stuff, man. 
Um, Vern Vito, shout out to you. Lorenzo Davis, John Snow, Junior Abad, Resilient SD, uh, Dylon, who else? Malcolm M, The Bruda was popping. Simple Sean, uh, Black Grizzly, what up? Who else is up in here? Theo C. Who else we had up in this? Luis Hernandez, shout out to you. Heathen Deluxe, shout out to you. Um, Bradley Green, what up? Francisco Lima, who else up in this piece, man? My dude EO in the building, shout out to you. K Zagan, shout out to you for moderating and all of that. Who else we had up in here? Big Stain, the locker room, shout out to you. Um, who else? Just Living, Malcolm M. I think I said you already. But yo, man, I appreciate everybody that was in the chat. Man, it's hot as fuck out this motherfucker. So I will see you guys again Monday. And if not Monday, Wednesday, but always Friday, all right? So I'm out of here, guys. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.